Hey, welcome to the show, everyone. Uh, we have Kendra Dossie on the show. Uh, we have a great show for you. We're going to be talking about the new movie Brightburn and show you the preview of that. Uh, the Orville is getting its own comic book. And also, uh, the last blockbuster video on Earth. We'll tell you where it is. Uh, we have Playing With Balls with Jay Val, Crazy News, and much more. Keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Show. Hey, welcome to the Epic Radio Show, the only show where Puddin' Pops uh, means multiple things. Uh, I am your host, <laughs> Epic. Uh, we have Jay, Val, and Ashley. What's up? Hello. Oh, sorry, Jay. Your mic was down because you sucked dick. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> Dude, uh, I had to say it on my birthday. God damn it. All right, it anyways. <laughs> Maybe like five more times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got the Ant Man. Champion. Yay! What's going Woo. on, there, man? How was your week? Uh, shitty, but uh, I survived, and I'm feeling good now that Jay hooked me up with a little bit of wild turkey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody up in this bitch is drinking except me. No, it's gonna I'm be not. it's gonna I'm be a not. crazy show. No, crazy show. You're, you're not, gonna be our designated not. driver. To the bar. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not yet. That's yeah. I'm not. I'm not tipping up yet, man. He's not doing it yet. He's like no. waiting. <laughs> Yeah, Everybody got, in there is so wait. getting tipsy. He he asked me nice, so I, I was like, well, I got some in the trunk. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, in the I, trunk. It was upstairs. Well, no, yeah, it was, it was on the upstairs. table, but it was, yeah, I, I had it's it in, in the, the trunk. trunk. Don't, don't, don't the try trunk. to make, make it seem like you, <laughs> you didn't have it. You're not prepared. a crazy alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's not make it seem like I that. I think Jay yeah. knew that yeah. I'm an alcoholic and I haven't had a drink all week. I didn't even know that. But no, I it was it was left over from... I think I had you try it the one, the um, the one night out last night. Tom was over here. When was that? Last weekend. Yeah, last yeah. weekend. See, so, this is how fucked up he is already. He doesn't even remember when he was here. I haven't even <laughs> drank anything yet. Shh, Jay. Don't no, stop I'm, lying. I'm just. Uh, Oh my gosh, you guys make it seem like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, hey, so today's your birthday? Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, happy birthday, dude. See, and you brought donuts. You didn't even know. I you know. still brought See donuts. That? See, look at that. See, like, and I, I figured that's I'd friendship fin- right there. I, I figured I'd finish the, the, the bottle that I already started with you. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even know what day it was. He's like, He's is, like it wait, wait, is it March 8th? What? Well, yeah, is it <laughs> because, um,. <laughs> I'm like, even if it was March eighth, you still didn't call and wish me happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I knew it was. I knew it was the tenth, March tenth. But, but he thought today was the eighth. Yeah, because it's your birthday is the same month as uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but, uh, yeah, but uh, but you didn't know enough to know what day exactly it was. <laughs> well, no, I didn't know. I know. What, I knew what day he your just birthday got was. I just thought days. it was. Yeah, I thought it was the. Today he thought was it was the likely story. Hey, David. Hey, yeah. Tommy. Uh, David says, happy birthday, Epic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yay. Um, I guess we'll get right into our first topic. Uh, yeah, buddy. You can cue the music there. Uh, and... Luke Perry has passed away. Luke Perry passed did he? away. Yes, yes, he did. Oh, I heard he was sick. I didn't know he passed away. Nope. 
Yeah. Mm. What I, what, I can't remember what day it was. No, no, no he had a stroke, it? a random stroke, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Two days it, later. What's crazy is, like, everybody thought he was going to be okay. Like, it was. It, yeah, that's what I thought. I heard you know, he and was... then, no, the next day he just died. Oh, wow. Man. Um, You know, obviously, you know, Luke Perry from Beverly Hills, 90210, uh, Riverdale. Um, Probably lots of other stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. He's actually in an upcoming movie. Um, Quentin Tarantino film. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's just kind of crazy. I mean, he had, he had a lot of family. A lot yeah, of friends. like I saw. I'm in a bunch of mom groups, so everybody in the mom groups were like, "Oh, this was my my teen crush." Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "All y'all bitches are old." But like, I'm like, "Oh, that's sad because everybody's sad about it." I don't. I only knew him from Riverdale, only through Skyler because yeah. I was never really. You know, I never watched Nine Two One Zero. Well, it, it just sucks though because like he was he was pretty young, you know, and yeah, man, he? that's fifty two. Dang, fifty two, man. Dang, um, that is sad. Yeah, you know, and he was he was making a comeback. You know, he was getting really good uh, reviews with the uh, the whole Riverdale thing, uh-huh. and then they were starting to be casted in movies again. I think he was man. doing a lot of blow. <laughs> oh my God. That's right. Does a lot of blow cause strokes? Yeah. Yeah, it raises your blood pressure, yeah, your heart rate. You can could have be. a heart attack, or I guess a you never stroke. know. Could be. It was, it, that, it was that good shit too from Hollywood. My good shit. <laughs> and um, on the on the flip side of that blade, um, unfortunately, uh, Alex Trebek is in jeopardy. Right. Yeah, this is sad too. Um, he revealed uh, recently that he has stage four cancer. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, man, that's yeah. He went on his YouTube and uh, made the announcement, and uh, it was kind of it was kind of funny in a way because he was making jokes even when he was telling people. Uh, he was like, "Well, I I'm going to be around at least for five years because." Um, that's what my contract says. The host <laughs> Jeopardy, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but, five more years at least. But he said he's going to fight it. Of course. Um, you know, he's been very humbled about the whole experience, and um, I, you know, I've never heard a bad thing about um Mr. Alex Trebek. Yeah. I, I've not. That's I, so sad. Like yeah. I used to watch that show all the time. He's yeah. so fucking knowledgeable too. Yeah, you know, and become Jesus. fucking Jeopardy shit. You gotta be like close to God to know all that shit. <laughs> yeah. He's like really close to God if he knows all that shit. I feel yeah. like I don't even know what the fuck any of this is. I mean, I, I'm sure some of it was probably like in the beginning he was probably didn't know all that stuff. But, but now I think he's like a genius. That he's show like for a genius. so long, you, you know he's gotta just know. He's got all this knowledge just chilling. Yeah. It's crazy. All this bad news in a week. That's a shame. Last week was yeah. shitty. Let's just cancel last I week. I wonder who they're going to have in case uh, Mr. Happens. Tribeck uh, kicks the can. Who are they going to put in know. there? Like fucking Ryan Seacrest or How, some stupid can, shit? Know. You know him? it's going to be Ryan Seacrest. He gets everything. Who can replace him, though? I mean, I don't Ooh, think Ryan Seacrest could. I, yeah. I know a good person. Hey, man, I do too. Morgan oh. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yes. No. He's pretty up there too Freeman. though. He's in the seventies. Don't have cancer though. They should do the guy they should do the guy <laughs> from Breaking up. Bad. The guy from Breaking Bad, which one? Which I don't know. <laughs> I mean the main, <laughs> the main actor. I Walter, Walter, Walter White. Oh, what what the fuck? Uh the the oh, what's his name from um The Talking Dead? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hardwick. Hardwick. Yeah, 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 he should do it. He's yeah, really funny. Yeah, yeah. He would be good at Yeah, they canceled uh, his other late night show. Yeah. So give him something. Shit. I mean, yeah. Walking Dead's about to be canceled here soon. Yeah, so How do you figure? Something. How do you figure? It's got Walking retarded. Dead sucks, right? Yeah, I think it's well, yeah. I think it's the same shit over and over. So, like, yeah. not only that, yeah. but they keep killing off, like, the good characters. Yeah. yeah. I do agree. They're killing off a lot of people. Dude, Jesus was gone. So was, um. You can't kill Jesus! Man. Maggie's gone. Can't fucking do it. You know what, Tommy the Parker? He died. Yeah. No, 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 well, Maggie, yeah, but the pregnant one. How, how yeah, Maggie's she, gone. See, I, I stopped gone watching it. Carl, um, because Carl, Rick. Right Carl. after Rick and Carl, Carl. After Carl and Rick, I was like. After <laughs> Rick, I was questioning. And then everyone keeps saying, I keep seeing stuff that the show is still good. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll just watch it like all like, and I'll just like binge watch it all and see how I feel yeah. about it the next season. But um, it's funny because when we were guys, we guys were all talking about who would replace uh, Trebek. Yeah, 
I was thinking, haha, Bill Cosby, you know, as a joke. Oh. And Tommy Parker said Bill Cosby Bill would do Cosby. a good job. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. He read my mind from <laughs> across a bunch of miles. Like, so, what you do if you put the answer in the form of a question? <laughs> so, so, Anthony, how, how, did, how did Maggie die? Brilliant. She, she just, just kinda, she left the fucking. She went to uh, remember that whatever. lady with the helicopter. No. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the helicopter, helicopter. Or whatever. Like she went with her to go learn stuff, and she took the baby with her. And apparently, she's supposed to come back, but we don't know when because oh, she God. has another show she's doing. So. Gotcha. So wanted to see how that would go. So she might come back. <laughs> yeah. I, love I still it. love the theme. I, love I don't the give theme a shit. Is the best. I still love that shit. I don't care. Uh, you we'll know, see how it goes. You know where they lost me is with those fucking people with the faces. The now. whispers. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. doing now. Yeah, come on, it's all retarded. Yeah, like the the first <laughs> the first sign you seen of them, they were all walking and they're like, yeah, like talking yeah. to each other as they're yeah, walking. And, and then the people were like, man, them fucking zombies are talking now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought at first that's evolution. Like, that's evolution, an overdeveloped shit. I, I yeah. would have watched the show if the zombies were evolving. That would have been better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at this point, evolving. though, with the way they're de- deteriorating, There's there no shouldn't way. even be any zombies. I mean, left. We don't really yeah, know no how shit. fucking long this shit is. Part, they should be part of the mutation. Yeah, they or should, yeah, they should yeah, be dude. walking skeletons. Yeah. They should be falling on the ground because they're decayed. Yeah, yeah I understand. Much. No muscles left. And any animals? Like, are they eating? Dude, because an anybody or? that knows anything about like is there decay, any lions left? yeah. Hello, like, their shit's not regenerating as they're eating. It's just falling out of them, right? So yeah. they're not gaining yeah. anything to, to feed their muscles or anything Man, like that, damn right? organs ain't working. So hold on. So, <laughs> so anybody, like, has anybody seen a decaying body and how quickly that... I actually never have, and I'm a not A couple gonna... weeks. couple weeks? Yeah. That's all it should have been. We definitely need to get a British doctor on here to solidify like, But this that. is also a fucking show, so it's like there's a lot of things you gotta kind of just take Don't with... You always believe it more when someone's got a British accent, yeah. you know? Yeah. Not me. I question people with their British accent. I was going to try to do one just a second ago, but then I'm like, wait. Um, let's no. see. I, epic, I, I, I completely... probably would do it wrong. Uh, uh, David Frank said, Epic, I completely agree about The Walking Dead. There should just be rotting zombies laying on the ground everywhere. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's it's science. It literally is. That's why I mean, they have to bring all these other threats into it, because honestly, you don't well, see the zombies as much. Anymore. No, but yeah, but except for what? It's few and Last between. season with the giant horde? That was crazy, though. It, Rick was, it was just crazy. gone. I can but tell it, you this, wait, though. Wait, what happened? If the zombie There's a mega horde. apocalypse oh, happened it. today, it would be over in probably six hours, because people would up. just be fucking shooting them in the fucking head, and it'd be done and over with. Yeah. In The yeah. Walking I Dead, I don't understand... Them. It, well, yeah. You yeah. never seen Return of the Living Dead and all those fucking movies, and then uh, yeah, well, right. see, I think this, in this universe that they doesn't didn't know. Exist. They didn't. There was no like a thing but about zombies. Stupid. Zombies weren't a thing. That's why they call them the Walking Dead. That's why they have all these weird names for them because zombies weren't like a thing in pop culture. I ever. always thought that the Walking Dead were the humans because they're like. I mean, that's what it's survive, becoming. You know? That's what I, I think. Know. That's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. where it's going. This, this is point. so not talking about Luke Perry or. All right. Well, we well, talked Luke, about it. Well, what are you talking about? Luke Perry's about to be a zombie. Oh my god! <laughs> and, <Stop it>. and <laughs> Mr. Tribeck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Stop it! No, well, this is not where this boy Alex wanted Trebek this to is go. Is Walking Dead right now? Right? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! My goodness. Okay, I think it's time for a break, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we go on break. Uh, before we go on break. Um, make sure you follow us on Facebook Mm-mm. and Twitter at Epic Music Radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do that. Uh, Instagram, Epicness216. Check out our brand new website uh, at the Epic Radio Show.com. And also, for my birthday, if you are listening to the show and you like it, please share it on your page. Do it for his birthday, damn it. For- share it on your page. Get other people to watch it and be like, yo, look at these crazy motherfuckers. So, <laughs> these motherfuckers be crazy, though. Yeah. Um, Do it for his birthday. That's right. Um, <laughs> look at Irish. Yeah, there was an Irish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have Kendra Dawsey. Uh, so keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Show. Mm-hmm. And more zombies. More zombies. <laughs> Why is that happening? Oh, well, what's happening? <laughs> this shit. That would be fucked up. <laughs> We're down here and then we're down here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. Oh. 
so you'd be dead. My gun is in my car. <laughs> That's not helping us now. No, dude, I'm taking this mic and just shoving it right in your eyeball. Your yeah. eye socket. Just shove that bomb in your eye. Your eye oh. socket. Just bam. We know how to kill them in this world. I'll tell you what. I would do what what's his face did with the baseball bat and the yeah. wire around it. Yeah, That'd keep be beating bitches' asses. Yeah. Oh, I thought about doing that in like real life, just in case. Like, You're evil. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Like, I had to look like that's a really good idea. Like I used to watch wrestling as a kid, so I like all that shit. Hmm, what's interesting? Was it mankind? Like, yeah, with the sock. Mm -hmm. Saki. Yeah, Saki the motherfucker. No, I can't remember what that his name was, but Are you calling her? Welcome back to the Epic Radio Show. Um, on the line, we have Kendra Dossi. Uh Let's give her a big warm welcome. Hello. Welcome. What's Hi. up? Hi. Hey, everyone. How's it going today? It's uh, pretty good. I think daylight savings time kind of kicked me in the butt a little bit. Oh, but yeah. Me too. Also, that was today. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why one clock said this and then my phone... So wait, what yeah. time is it actually right now? Ten fifty four. Ten fifty four. So some clocks are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how it works, Ted. <laughs> somewhere's out there. Yeah, somewhere out there. But hey, it's still five o'clock somewhere. So five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh um, my goodness. So let's let's uh talk about you for a little bit. Um uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you into comedy. So I, uh, right now I live in Connecticut. Um, 
I got into comedy because I did a lot of sketch comedy in college, and I wanted to kind of continue doing some sort of comedic thing um, when I graduated. Uh, I've been doing... I've been kind of going hard in the paint with stand-up for maybe, like, two years, so I'm pretty new. Okay. Um, but I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, what got you into stand-up originally? Uh, who was your influence? My influence? Yeah. Uh, I really like people like Maria Bamford, um, Harry Kundabalu, uh, Wyatt Senek, and I think just... When I was younger, I would just watch, like, Comedy Central all the Mm -hmm. time and watch all the specials. So they're, like, I haven't seen the Dennis Leary special in a while, but I remember I watched that, like, five or six times when I was younger. And I think I just really liked the, uh, that format of telling jokes and, uh, storytelling and stuff. So I, Mm -hmm. I was interested. Yeah. Um, so... You went to college, um, you yeah. graduated from there, and you were an uh, ethnic studies major, correct? Yeah. Um, so explain to people that have not been to college, like myself, um, <laughs> a little bit about... <laughs> what's that? Can you take I, yeah, I, I took a semester in college. I don't okay. think that counts. I'm just saying, you did go to college. <laughs> did, was it just it to count. get that fast for money? What's that? <laughs> was it just to get the fast for money? I didn't even get the... He didn't even get fast for money. Yeah, I didn't get to do I shit. did. I did that. I took two semesters. I know some people who did that shit and just bought fucking electronics. <laughs> That's and, terrible. Oh, my God. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I had to... No, it's fine. I think it's something that people who didn't go to college could still understand like it's it's not like a highfalutin sort of thing um but ethnic studies is like the study of racial and cultural constructions um my major didn't focus just in america so it was international but it talks about stuff like colonialism and kind of laws that uh that kind of uh i guess made whiteness more uh constructs so like laws against like miscegenation um uh jim crow laws um stuff like that so i think it's kind of relevant now with uh all the stuff going on in mm-hmm. the news yeah, definitely so it's just like yeah it's like uh, interesting to think about and i feel like uh maybe 10 years ago people were like oh what will we do with a degree and then there's been so many like controversies because someone says an- something anti-Semitic in the news or like mm-hmm. racist or like calls a black woman a monkey. And I'm, I'm like, I wouldn't do that because I know not to do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I guess when you do something like that, you can just blame it on Ambien. Apparently I've heard Apparently. that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> blame it on Donald Trump. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like it's ambient more, now more, I'm like being yeah. racist. Or just, yeah, obviously that's a side effect. If you didn't know, <laughs> uh, when you take ambient, um, you're automatically racist. <laughs> just so, just to let you know that. Yeah. Blame it on the a- 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 alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even ambient. know where ambient is. It's a sleeping pill. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Roseanne Barr uses that. Um, that's why she's yeah. so racist. Yeah, Holy she takes ambient. Yeah. Is it white? <laughs> we, I actually don't know. I don't that. know what the color of the pill is. It but could be though. It could be white. And I will say this though: I did actually take an Ambien one time, and did you get it really zombified racist? the shit out of me. Did you get real racist? I was like, walk, like they like. <laughs> I dude, it totally made me like I was walking. People said I was walking around talking to myself and shit. <laughs> sleepwalking. You do that when um you're not on anything. Though. <laughs> oh, talk to myself. Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, yeah. I yeah. could only imagine yeah. if you were to snort one of those. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> All right, moving. Yeah. Let's get the fuck yeah. out of there. Yeah, that that shit. Let's stay off of the snorting, the ambient. Yeah. Shit. I heard if you take it and you don't fall asleep, you just like hallucinate for a yeah. little bit. Oh, wow. no, yeah, See, that was strange, yeah. then. That was yeah, that's I heard was, about ambient. That was what was going on. Is with it me. prescribed to you, or can you get over the counter? It's prescribed. Damn it, prescribed. It's, 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 I think it's the I mean, strongest. I don't think it's like fun hallucinations. No. It's not Is it like scary. Then? It's just like you see a walrus. It's like. 
Like it's like you're in a dream-like space. Yeah, you're in a dream, um, pretty much. You're just like... Yeah, so you you're just kind of confused, yeah, it's, it's, but you're, you're not... Confused. This is great. I love talks about drugs. Yeah, yeah. This is great. <laughs> it's amazing. Love drug conversations. I, I know I started it, too. This is what we fault. do. Every fucking show. I, I, would, I wouldn't suggest taking it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I mean, no. you could oh, sorry, if you... Here? What's that? It sounds boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not interesting enough to um, take. So, anyways... Getting back to the interview. Yes, yes, sorry. Um, so you actually had a really funny story about something that happened to you as a comic. Uh, can you go into that? Of the um, the bachelor party That's story? That's correct. Sorry, you're cutting out a little. I can't quite hear uh, everything, yes. but I could definitely... Yep. I could definitely talk about the bachelor party story. Okay, awesome. Can you hear us now? All right, so I think, I think, sorry, yeah, the audio is a little weird, but yeah, I could definitely tell it. So I was hired to do a bachelor party um, from this guy uh, who was a, who was a, like, Amtrak employee. Um, he said, oh, it would be, like, uh, $50 who would um, basically, like, just kind of talk about the raffle or like host the raffle and tell some jokes, whatever. Um, so I arrived. The only person there is his fiance and we're waiting around a little bit. He told, he tells me he hired some strippers and then like a topless bartender. So we're waiting around for that. Um, not a lot of his friends come. So I feel kind of like bad. He -hmm. had just like, like maybe like one or two people came at Aww. first, um, and and the topless bartender was there, and she wasn't even really serving drinks, so she was like talking to some of us. Um, and there, they had a lot of food. It just seemed in general like kind of a sad bachelor party. Mm-hmm. So then, uh, towards the end of the night, um, the person. So apparently, uh, bachelor parties have kind of like, ter- like turfs or rifts or something like they have like kind of beef with one another <laughs> so towards the end of the night like east the, coast west coast type shit right i guess yeah <laughs> so, so. so these these bachelor parties just like get together and like gang bang what? no what are you okay. talking about <laughs> so you're going way into yeah, field. You, back to the no, he's talking about like she's talking about like yeah. okay so like if there's one stripper i don't know um like what would you call that? Like business, mm-hmm. mm. and then there's another one. Yeah, they rival each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I there's like that, a rivalry. I, oh, I yeah. thought it was like sure. a party so, and another party. That'd be party like platinum horse gotcha. and crazy horse do doing they, a war. Do bro. they like have oh, gotcha. a lap dance off or something? Or a lap dance off. <laughs> <laughs> that would I guess be... it's like. Go ahead. I guess it's seen as like two. Like, if you hire two contractors to, like, work on your house, I'm not really sure, but... Okay, okay um, yeah, I got you. So, like, the man who who was the bachelor hired one company for the topless bartender and another for the strippers. So, at some point, the, like, dude who runs the company that the topless bartender came from, like, came in, and he was like, oh, I'll eat some food and, like, participate in the raffle. The strippers come in and see that that guy is there, and they, like... They were already paid, so they just see that the other company is there and just leave. Oh, and like, oh that's messed just up. Just leave without doing anything. Damn. So, like, the end of the part, so, like, the dude who, uh, who, like, the topless bartender was uh, from his company, he tries calling the other company, and he's like, yo, it's not, so it's not what you think. It's not like we're trying to gang up on you. Like, no, he <laughs> just hired, like, my client was done. Like, the topless bartender had her clothes on. She was done working. Um, <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's not It's not what you think. Like, they should come back. This dude paid, like, $300. They don't come back. Wow. The bachelor calls him and, like, curses, curses, like, this dude out. Like, someone else called someone else the N-word. It was just oh so messy. God. And at the end of the night, uh... This dude didn't get his lap dance, and I just felt really bad. Um, so you so I uh, <laughs> took my money and left. That's what <laughs> <laughs> You did offer to buy him a drink. I do remember you tell me that. Damn. Yeah, I did, but he was like, no, nah, like, oh, it's okay. And then also he, he bought a lot of alcohol, so he could have just drank all the alcohol that he got. 
Um, I think the worst part is at max, like they rented out an entire hall and at max there were maybe like 13 people at Dang. this party. Dang. I felt so bad for this guy. Yeah. Well, I think his, what the hell I hope his wedding went better, but. Yeah, I mean, what, was he a dork or something? What? <laughs> was he a dork? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, I, though. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> I, I was thinking I, it, but you said <laughs> it. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with that? I don't know what's wrong. Well, hold on. I, Think about this. You got fucking topless bartenders and strippers willing to give lap, lap dances and nobody shows up. Something's fucking wrong, right? <laughs> he, so, like, I think a lot of the people he invited were just getting off work when, like, the party the at, like, 10 o'clock was when they just got off work. Oh, okay. But also, I did, um, yeah, I felt bad. I, I don't know if he had a lot of friends. Gotcha. I don't want Poor guy. Maybe he does and they just live in other places. Like I don't know. I don't know this man's history. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, and you yeah. had to perform stand up too in front of like thirteen people, correct? That's very awkward. Yeah, I mostly just kinda riffed and like mentioned the topless bartender. Yeah, I like I mean I've performed stand up in front of smaller crowds, honestly. I've performed stand up in front of four people. So oh, wow. that wasn't the part I felt bad about. It's like <laughs> did, this whole situation's bad. I'm did you sorry. make fun of the topless bartender's titties? Oh my god! <laughs> no, she had she had really nice ones. Oh, so nice. I like didn't Couldn't go make for fun it. Of you don't have yeah. pictures by any chance. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I didn't bother taking I don't, pictures. I'm fucking ant man. That's why. I don't think it's uh, included in the package. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, Your discretion is advised. <laughs> you're actually going to be in the Cleveland area coming up. Yes. Um, yeah, so... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that uh, you're. she's going to be at the Great Lakes Brewing at, um, on April 15th, uh, 78 Studios yes. at uh, 419. Uh, and the pharmacy in Akron with uh, my buddy Chris Kettler, uh, four twenty. So get to oh, the good weed together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So wait, like uh, she's gonna be at the Great Lakes Brewery? Yeah. So the, the one yeah. down on um in yeah, Ohio uh, City. Oh, so okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Okay. That's oh, will you be there as well? Uh, me. He doesn't no, know. He no, lives I, I, in everywhere. I travel yeah. a lot. <laughs> he lives okay. everywhere, so he who knows. Uh, you can okay. also find right. uh, Kendra on IG at Unamused Black Girl. Um, I, I like that name. Mm-hmm. But that Thank you. Handle. She's fucking unamused. <laughs> damn it. Unamused. So, by, uh, by all of our shit. That, that, that sounds like a famous. Kendra's uh, black? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, one, no one's able to tell from my voice, but I am indeed a black person. God bless you. <laughs> what the, what the hell is that mean? I don't think he knows what he's he talking about. He doesn't know what he's I, talking I, about. He's drinking too much whiskey. I've been drinking too much whiskey. <laughs> he's been drinking. No, I, uh, Only on the so this is a show. This is a frequent problem when I do a podcasts and stuff like people don't expect me to be black until like the host is like oh just so you know Kendra's black like she doesn't sound like it but and uh yeah <laughs> so particular. yeah I'm black <laughs> no or, and or there's nothing wrong with that but I'll tell you what you got a a, a nice si- yeah, sounding like, voice it's like smooth and yeah, you like, like Siri you can clear. like be like one of those uh people that call people up like you I mean, know, I was actually going to say the same thing. I mean, thing. you got a good voice. She's got a really nice voice. Oh, thank you. You mean I could be like a phone sex operator? Yes. Yeah, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's where he, <laughs> was, that's <laughs> where he was going with it. He just didn't want to come out and just be right. like, hey. He didn't want to be like, hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Well, you would be fucking Jay just said she sounds like Siri. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no, I said like Siri. <laughs> like Jeez. Siri. Like clear and like able to yeah. understand. And Jeez, man. Just like it flows and her voice yeah, flows nicely. Yeah, everything flows. It's not like this like Thank you. Yeah. bullshit I'll, I'll, or I'll anything. I'll tell you what, if you were to tell me a bedtime story, <laughs> I'd go right to sleep. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a is, good compliment. Is that a compliment? That's like, a compliment. What the fuck is wrong with that? My voice, my voice can't put motherfuckers <laughs> to sleep. That's a good compliment. My yeah. voice isn't soothing. My voice is just out like it's just nuts. It's for a woman that's a really good compliment. Some some okay. some people have voices <laughs> where you just want to scratch and claw your like, eardrums. That's my out. voice. That's like Ah. Oh God, I, I don't talking. think your voice is bad. I think your voice is fine. Well, thank you. See, it's a very, it's a very nice compliment. It is for women. Okay. Why, don't, why don't you compliment it. Ashley a little bit more? Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> sitting here fishing <laughs> for compliments. I don't have to. 
Because she knows. She knows. Oh, Do okay. I know? Do I know? No. Really? Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Anywho. Um. <laughs> anything else you would like to add? Anything uh, up and coming that I haven't mentioned? Um. Well, I'm based in Connecticut, so if you're in Connecticut, you should follow my Instagram, and then you'll see my shows. I have a show uh, coming up at a video rental store. Um, they still in have Camden. one of them? I guess so. I've seen okay. a couple of yeah, them. Vid- yeah, it's like one of the last oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, Whenever yeah. you walk in, it's like you're in the 90s. So That's crazy. <laughs> Man, and blockbuster. Yeah. It's not blockbuster because we're going to talk about that later. No, I know it's not. The last. Oh, block- it's not blockbuster. No, it's no. probably like no. fa- uh, J- Jim's family video or Jim's. something. Jim's. <laughs> Jim's. <laughs> Fucking Jim. Does it have an adult version in it? Like a like a the adult- quarter viewing yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, yeah, it does. Oh, it's uh, it's called a uh, well. It's called Best Video. They do have like a uh, adult adult section. section. Actually, I'm not sure if they have an adult section. Hmm. They have like a lot of disgraced directors, though. So like they have Woody <laughs> Allen films and Roman Polanski Damn films. And I no was going to come in there with my London Spacey, huh? So it's like a club. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. Don't be embarrassed. No, it's okay. This is great. This is a good time right now. My 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 co-host are um something else. We're I perverts. I don't know. They're drinking a little. Too, he's drinking in there a little too much in that booth. Yeah, I think so. just a little too oh, much. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'll tell you what. I thought about going to AA meeting last week, but I I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't make it. I was drinking. <laughs> All right. Well, thank thank you so much, Kendra, (laughs) for being on the show. Yes, thank you. Um, Thank you. Seriously, everyone, check her out. She is hilarious. Uh, You can find her on YouTube. Um, Definitely check out her Instagram at uh, Unamused Black Girl. Uh, Thank you so much, Kendra, for being on the show. Uh, We're going to take a break. It's no problem at all. Um, When we get back from break. Uh, we're going to be playing with some balls with Jay Val, and we're going to check out the trailer for the Brightburn movie. Boom. Uh, keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Boom. Show. Boom. Pow. <laughs> <laughs>
Smash. Yeah, Death Smash. Smash. Uh, welcome back to the Epic Radio Show. Um, Jesus. All right, so I guess we're going to go right into playing with balls. Ball time. Balls. Dude. Let's do the ball and time. And you know what? Last week I didn't even I didn't even say you nothing. Didn't even fuck up your intro. Yep. I know. Let's not do it today. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> no, you're not. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's ball my birthday. Balls. Big ball. Any balls. Yeah, all the balls. Birthday, Tommy. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate she it. She said it during the interview. Trisha. Okay. Okay. All right. Go so, ahead. hey, how you guys doing today? <laughs> We're is, great. <laughs> it's, a, it's a special birthday edition of playing with balls. A ball time with your host Jay Val. Yeah. Are you uh, playing with my balls? Is this? I'm not yes. playing, with, <laughs> That's special I'm not playing with no one's balls, sir. That's the special edition. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Play with your own balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I don't want to. Skip All right, so anyways, down. skipping in. Host. All right, so real quick, I'm going to get into the MLB, the Major League Baseball news. MLB. There is none because it's a uh, boring spring training right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move on. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> in the NBA, guys, so um, like I say every week or when I'm on, if you guys want to go ahead and give us a call, or comment and debate some stuff, go ahead and do that. Yeah, he can see all the comments. Yeah, so, and we will uh, go ahead and answer any questions, stuff like that, but I'd love to hear your guys' take on it as long as, as, as well as the cast. So, anyways, the NBA, so, NBA news, the Celtics uh, just beat beat the Lakers, um, and go. the Celtics, actually, just to give you guys a little bit of rundown, the Celtics are af- actually fifth in the Eastern Conference, so they are actually in playoff contention. Um, the Lakers, however, are not. Uh, oh. They are actually thirty and thirty-six. They they are eleventh in the West, which uh, they're they're pretty much knocked out. There's no possible way they can make the playoffs now. So, I mean, what do you guys think about the Lakers? Uh, LeBron leaving, and and this is the first time he's going to miss the playoffs. Um, besides his rookie season, say fuck LeBron. I mean, hey, I, it's coming back to kick him in the ass, right? <laughs> That's I'd what he gets. Karma, right? You know what? He's not the big fish in the little pond anymore. No. So, no. Yeah. I have no feelings about this. Yeah, he's a, he's a small fish in an ocean. Yeah. No. But, in uh, an ocean. Yeah, but uh, something, it's ironic um, how things come back at you. And, um, you know, we all supported him when he left. You know, he gave us a ring. If it wasn't wasn't for the damn Dynasty Warriors, we would have got more <laughs> rings, I think. Yep. But um, I think uh, the main thing is uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Did you guys hear in the Clippers game? I do believe it was <laughs> that LeBron. They were chanting at LeBron, "We want Kobe." No, that's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, the Lakers fans <laughs> are chanting, "We want nice. Kobe." Isn't that crazy, man? So I mean, I, he's he's going through a lot of a lot right now. You know, I actually get all my sports news from you. Oh, do you? Okay, I can I tell you this though. From, <laughs> everyone's saying he's a he's a old, he's an old guy now playing a young man's sport. You know, he's he's still uh, he's still a beast, man. He is, but the problem is he doesn't have a you team left, on him right you, now. You left you you yeah that Lakers team has nobody on it. No, I mean, why would you you left? Dude, and this is going to – I'm going to get into the next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, and I, I said this la- last week when we talked Epic. Um, yeah. He's with the Lakers. He left the Cavs. And listen, man, the Cavs, uh, they just lost to Miami 126-110 in a great – it was a, it was a back-and-forth game, the whole game. But um, one huge bright spot in that game – um, and he had a career high night, one of the best games, and he's a rookie still, Colin Sexton. Mm-hmm. This kid is out to prove everybody wrong. This dude is is amazing. He's 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 gonna be a nice cornerstone piece for the Cavs going forward. And the Cavs record right now is 16 and 50. They're third last and they're second last in the East. So third last overall, second last in the East. But the thing is, they are able, they're gonna be able to get into that top 
uh, the top lottery for that number one pick still. Because the, fir the first three teams have um, almost the, the same chance to get that first pick. You've got comments, Jay. So, yeah. Um, go ahead. I'll rate them. Is your right here? No, well, it's no. Yes. Why, why, why? Because it makes it Well, it says Tommy camera. Parker says yeah. NBA is boring. I have more fun watching the referees do dumb shit. <laughs> and Sean Connolly Sr. said, of course they want Kobe. Kobe was an intense winner. LeBron will never have the killer instinct Jordan or Kobe had. And you know what? Here's the thing, too. And I've always, I've been one of those guys that always, always said LeBron's better. Um, and I still, uh, here's my thing, though. Like, looking back at Jordan, looking back at that, um, he's absolutely right. LeBron doesn't have that that killer instinct that Jordan and, and um and I will Kobe say did. as as far as like I, I think that's a personality trait to a certain degree. He's a team guy. He's more of a team he guy. He likes to pass that ball. He likes to yeah. pass it, get yeah. his teammates involved. He wants to that's get the not best scenario. It's a bad thing. It's not, but no. it could be. I mean, there's times where, look, dude, you need to. There's times we've watched Epic yeah. where you're like, dude, take the damn game over. Yep. This yeah. is back when LeBron was just a beast. Mm -hmm. And you're like, dude, he can take the game over at will. This was when he could just yeah. s hit the switch and just, you, you can't stop him. No one could stop him, and and you're we're like, why aren't why are you passing the ball, dude? <laughs> yeah. Drive to the hole every damn time. Yep. You're getting a foul, or you're getting a basket and a foul. Mm -hmm. It's like, but you know, he's absolutely yeah. Because right. they're not going to be able to plant his feet, your their feet with uh, them. Even if they nope. do, they're getting ran the hell over. Yeah. Most of them are afraid. And, he's and, a freight train coming at you. I think that was Michael Jordan, man. He would just fucking take that. He was a ball hog, and he would talk shit to everybody. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people don't realize that about Michael Jordan. They well, see the. The, now, the kind of like the the reserved Michael Jordan, but he was a yeah. he, he, he was would, an asshole. He bro. would fuck with them <laughs> mentally Here, and physically. Yeah. Here's my thing. I'm I'm I've always loved LeBron James. I was always a huge supporter, a huge fan. Was mad at him when he left the first time. How he did it left us with shit. Um, I really think LeBron with Colin Sexton and uh, Kevin Love, they would have they would be they could go to the Eastern Conference Finals with this. With what they had, but I don't know. Um, my thing is, I am leaning more towards now that I really don't. You, I can't compare um, LeBron to being better than Jordan because uh, you're right, man. He he lacks that overall game, yeah. But Jordan, I don't know, man. Jordan and Kobe were just different type of players, man. Yeah, they 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 it was a had different the, time. Yeah, too. They, it, it was. Well, someone said it right. Um, it was um, Dwayne Wade and it was Kevin Garnett, and they were talking about when LeBron said he was the goat. And one thing is, they made a great point, and they said, "Listen, man, you know Dwayne Wade was even Dwayne Wade and Kevin Garnett were siding with LeBron, like, yo, he has, you know, he does have a right to say that." And he said, "You know what? We don't look at it as there's one goat." He's like uh, Kevin Garnett Goat. and Dwayne Wade said goat. There's a whole said, flock goat? of goats. Goat. But no, listen. They said uh -huh. he, they said there's goats for eras. Jordan yeah. Jordan was his, the goat of his era. LeBron is the goat of this era. Yeah. And what then there will be another, mean, there'll be another guy that comes along. Greatest of all time. Along. Thank you. Greatest of all time. I can't remember. I'm like, what the fuck there'll is There will be another mean? one. Yeah. Um, I got a couple comments. Yeah. Um, hey, shut up. <laughs> Stop telling me to shut up. No, I think. Yeah. Fuck. Damn basketball organ. <laughs> on, on that soundboard, when you like try to scroll up and you accidentally hit the free. Like, fuck. Yeah. I know. That's not what I want. It would be like some weird shit that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like <laughs> Like an anteater. Or a cow. Or a cow. Yeah. <laughs> a cow. Uh, David Frank said LeBron played with far more heart than the Cavs than he ever will with LA. That's true. That is so. true. Uh, Tommy Parker says LeBron has jumped the shark, as they say in the entertainment business. He should turn to owning a team. He will. He will. Oh, he's definitely going to so. own a team. Definitely. Yeah. It'd be nice if it's the Cavs. That'd be great. Man. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, I I just think um. He might be owning a football team. Yeah. Patriots. Who? LeBron. Yeah. I didn't even hear. I didn't that. hear about that. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. After the fucking owner got. Caught oh yeah, the... yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that, dude, that's Robert <laughs> Kraft. He'll get away with that shit. Oh jeez. But um, anyways, yeah, the, the yeah Lakers, LeBron, man, wow, missing the playoffs for the first time. Mm -hmm. Hey, and and everyone knew it. Everyone, you know, we well, all knew it. What's going on with him? Is he hurt? Who, LeBron? Yeah. 
No, it, the team's eliminated. They're not, oh, yeah, Lakers a... are not even in position to. Wham, God, wham, do shit. Wham. Yeah, they're in eleventh place, man. Jeez. Season's almost done. Do you think uh, the Cavs would take LeBron back? Maybe. Yeah. Hell yeah, they, yeah, would. they would. I sort of feel like uh, LeBron is like this hot, dirty slut that keeps on. <laughs> Cheating, cheating, and then, and, back. And then just you know what? I can't and deal with this. The Cavs are the boys okay, with low self esteem who keeps on taking her. Back. Like I can't yeah, deal with this anymore. Well, no, listen. I hope the Cavs get either the first or second pick so we can take um, Zion Williamson or RJ Barrett, and I'll be happy, and we'll be set up for the future, man. So, yeah. and with Colin Sexton. So, yeah, but anyways, moving on. Um, I, we're done with the NBA, NFL. My favorite topic always. Yep. Um. Some some news, guys. So news. NFL news. Um, shockingly, finally, Antonio <laughs> Brown was traded to the Raiders. Okay, mm-hmm. so the Raiders and and what a sweet deal the Raiders get this guy um, for cheap. They gave up a third round pick this year. This is for Antonio Brown, probably the best receiver in the NFL. Gave up a third round and a fifth round next year. I mean, that was a heck of a a, a trade. I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, obviously the Browns would have tried to go after him if we could have, but Pittsburgh already made it clear that they weren't dealing him within the division. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't want to trade somebody of that caliber to one of your opponents yeah. that you have to play twice a year, a division rival. So, I mean, that he wasn't coming to Cleveland no matter – how much we wanted to uh, to get him. So I mean, he you know he's going to the Raiders. It's going to be very interesting to see um, how he does. But uh, the the main thing is, um, yeah, he's going to be with a new team, and now it's going to be very interesting to see um, where Le'Veon Bell goes. Now I'm going to tell you that I I think Pittsburgh, you know the. the their front office, I will give them credit. Their front office doesn't play no games, man. They don't play no games. They're, yeah, they're not on on that little wimpy, um, wimpy shit where like if a player, you know, even Antonio Brown, a player of his caliber, he he, you know, he went off and uh and they still were just like we're not gonna cater to you, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But here's the thing about Pittsburgh, man, and I can't stand this. They do cater to <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger, and this dude threw Antonio Brown under the bus, and that's what started this whole thing. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Ben Roethlisberger is, dude. That dude sucks, man. Got a couple comments, Mr. Roethlis Raper. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, David Frank said, "Agree, Pitt dumped AB for cheap." Yeah. Um, he also said Carr doesn't have the accuracy for the way AB runs routes. There'll be a bumpy combo at first. We'll see, man. Uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr's a. I like Derek Carr. He's a good quarterback. But to be honest, I don't think uh, Gruden's planning on keeping Carr. So we'll see what goes on there. My thing with Ben is, I mean, I, I can't say he sucks because the guy won Super Bowls and stuff, but. I just don't. I think Ben Roethlisberger's a bitch, just straight up. Like, <laughs> no, I do. Yeah. Fuck I him. Mean, I, right? I can't stand that dude. Like his attitude and like, like you, you don't throw. Okay, so you could throw A B under the bus, right? But what's the excuse when your ass has shitty games? Because dude, there's been some times where you had some shit games. Yeah. The, Brown, the Browns tore your Ooh. ass up the first game of the season. You know, like, yep. and and then, and not only the Browns, but other teams, you know, this, this dude, I mean, but Ben Roethlisberger, I think Pittsburgh needs to, they're going to try to get another quarterback, I think, hopefully soon. But, uh, because I mean, I, I think Ben Roethlisberger is on a decline, but, uh, I think, you know, I just think as a quarterback, you're supposed to be, you and your receivers are supposed to be in sync, in sync and stuff. Yeah. And then you guys freaking. You know, you guys, you throw him under the bus, A.B. under the bus, and now he's all like, bye, bye, bye. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, bye, bye. (laughs) In sync, right? No. (laughs) Anyways, but yeah. But yeah, Pittsburgh has a good front office, though. So, I mean, they're uh, of course, they are not going to fold on any player that's going to be trying to give them shit, you know. (laughs) So, I mean, their office, front office has always been a good front office, and and they did the same thing with Le'Veon. Now they did Le'Veon Bell shady. Like 
they kept franchise tagging him when you know a running back you want to pay the guy but anyways moving on um, um comment go ahead uh, David Frank said, I agree as a lifelong Steeler fan, they certainly cater to Big Ben, and even I don't like it. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. And uh, sometimes, you know, it's cool to do that. He's your quarterback, you know. The quarterback is the main guy of your squad. But, you know, when Ben's wrong, you got to you gotta make him he's own up. He's fucking wrong. When he's wrong and when he's sucking it up, you gotta ha- he's got to own up to that shit and not yeah. throw other people under the bus. Yeah. It's easy for a quarterback to be like, Oh, well, he was supposed to run this route. And the receiver's like, no, the hell, I ran the right route. You just suck. Yeah. You know, but Yo, the quarterback's you always going to suck. Gonna... I have a question for yeah, you. Yeah, what's up? So, how's the eye? My eye's good, man. I was just asking because, obviously... Oh, I keep doing this. It's good. It's healing nice. I keep putting Neosporin on it. Okay. Yeah, so it's good. Thanks, man, But uh, for yeah. asking. But, yeah. But I got two little things real quick. Um, This is the last thing I'm going to talk about is our Cleveland Browns. Um... Now, the Browns just traded our offensive guard, Kevin Zeitler, to the Giants for Olivier Vernon. Okay. Olivier? Olivier, yeah. Hmm. Or it might be. I, that's what the people, how they pronounce it. Okay. It's just pronounced Olivier, but it, I think it's Olivier Vernon. But um, Whatever. It's it's one of those weird, hard to pronounce. It's like, a weird name. Yeah, definitely. Um. Anyways, Vernon is a defensive end. He's, he's a sack machine. Don't get me wrong. He's been a beast his career. Um, my thing is, I'm kind of 50-50 on this trade. I really think uh, Kevin Zeitler, the, as a guard, he was, I think his value, the type of player he is, was more value than um, than Vernon. Now, Vernon is a very important position, pass rusher. Um, I guess Emmanuel Agba, I liked him. I still like him. He's more of a backup, though, so they needed to get another defensive end. My thing is, why would you give up one of your good offensive linemen to go ahead and get a defensive end when there's this draft class is stacked with defensive linemen? Stacked. Like, I don't understand it. You could have got one even in the second round to that would have been – that would have been good. So we'll see how that pans out with a with Vernon. Uh-huh. I I hope him and Miles. It's going to take some pressure off of Miles Garrett, and I I think this is going to allow Miles Garrett to get uh, double digits and sacks again. And I think he's going to break the 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 single season record for the Browns next year. I really gotcha. do. It's at fourteen and a half. He almost did it this year. He was a half a sack short, but uh, half, a sack. half a sack short. <laughs> right? I mean, like son of a god damn it, son of a god. Yeah, I wanted him to break it. So man, he has but, one and a half sack. <laughs> He has a half a sack well, short. That was a yeah. joke. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, you know, I, I really like Miles Garrett. That's a franchise piece right there. And we're yeah. Browns are heading in the right di- right uh you know right direction. And I really do think the Browns w- sorry, um, Dave. Um I think the Browns are taking the division next year. I really do. I got another um, comment. Yeah, go ahead. Um Joe Mo actually I have two. Joe Most said Zettler, is that how you pronounce that? Zettler. Uh, Z- Zettler, 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 yeah, I'm going to say Zettler, Zettler, was overpaid Zettler. and the team feels that Austin Corbett was ready to step up for cheap. Uh, somebody's calling in. Really? No. It was just a message. Oh, was it? It sounded like a... Uh... And then... Um... Yeah, it says, fuck epic. <laughs> Is it really? No, I'm <laughs> no, no one's okay. calling. No one's, no. Oh, it's, it's your baby calling. What? No, um, never mind. Baby, <laughs> I'm not you're, calling. You're one of your babies are calling. Hey. Anyway, then uh, Tommy Parker said, "Okay, Jay, at 64 years old and my fastball is at 30 miles per hour, and my knuckleball is at 20. Should I continue to play baseball?" LOL. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. For the Indian, well, the Indians do have one of the best starting lineups in baseball, but Our their bullpen is freaking. Oh my gosh, it's gonna probably gonna look atrocious. But anyway, oh, you're talking about pitcher pitching okay, wise, yeah. Right. But uh, anyways, back to this. Um, so we traded the Giants right for Vernon. We almost we were trying to land Odell Beckham Jr. and we 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 sent an offer to the Giants and they laughed at us. So. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but I listen though. I the, I seen the offer sheet. I seen the offer what they supposedly offered them, and yeah, I would too for a player like Odell Beckham, but. Don't trust me. The uh, Dorsey is not done yet, and don't be surprised if he doesn't go ahead and pull the trigger and give up a number one or something to bring Odell Beckham here. I mean, if Odell Beckham Jr. if we can get him to the Browns to play opposite of Jarvis Landry, I mean, 
I'm telling you, with Baker Mayfield, I'm telling you right now, man, this, this dude, Odell would love to play with Baker Mayfield. He would love, he's playing with Eli Manning right now. That's like, it's like throwing a fucking trash can on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he, he has no accuracy worth shit. He's just, it's like throwing, it's like, here you go. Here's a fucking rock. He's like fucking Tyrod. Here's a fucking he rock. Yeah, Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, he, uh. Yeah, the only thing about Terod, he really doesn't take any risks. He doesn't throw down field. He, he always He's, dink and dunk and yep. whatever, you know. But uh, Baker's the man, and uh, that's it for sports. I don't know if I have any more um, comments. but uh, Well, David Franks just said, take the wild turkey from Anthony. So, <laughs> take it from Anthony? Yeah, he's going no, I just gave him a little in this coffee, so... He's all right. Thank, he's all right. Th- thanks for looking out for me, David. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and Tommy, your mom did say happy birthday. She messaged happy me in the birthday, chat. Tommy. Okay. She said, happy birthday, son. You birthday. know, I did get her message this morning and said thank you. So I don't, well, maybe she didn't okay. see it. Yeah. Maybe she okay. did it. Anyway. Another so, news. Hey, yeah. Oh, no. Go ahead. No, happy go ahead. Birthday. No, you're good. I'm... No. Tell that's you, nice. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for oh, sports, yeah. guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, I love you guys. I love the fans. I love everyone, man. You guys, he loves I'll everyone. see you yeah. next week on Playing With Balls. All right. Playing With Balls. All right. And in other news, I don't know if you've guys seen this trailer for Brightburn. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, Amazing. my goodness. So, basically, actually, you know what? If you haven't seen it, we have it right here. So give Oh, me really? We have it fucking yes. right here? Shit. Jesus, hell that. All right. So we're going to do a video right now. There we go. Okay. So enjoy. Whatever you've done, I know there is good inside you. All right, so that was the trailer for Brightburn. Yeah, buddy. Nice. That's so so basically, the concept is um, like basically, let's throw Clark Kent um, 
with the same type of family, yep. and what would happen if he was bad? Which is really awesome. Yeah. It's, I love looking at it. He seems more like a Clark Cunt. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the opposite perspective, yeah, I mean. Yeah. I like seeing things in different um, perspectives yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Especially Superman, because he's never been, you know, you never yeah. really think of Superman as a bad guy. So it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. shit, I mean, he would kill it's everyone. not Superman, but... Right, of course not. But, but he'd kill the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Dude, shit. I mean, everybody um, will be dead. Before the show, me and Antonio was actually talking about Batman versus Superman, and um, like Batman. But what, what was stupid about the film is, like, you know that Superman could have just killed Batman right. at any time, mm-hmm. like, because he doesn't have to be that close to Batman to take him out. No, no just use with, those fucking laser beams. Yeah, eyes or- yeah. How he freezes shit with his mouth. Yeah, he could have just blew cold air out. Yeah, he him. dead. He blew he him. Blew he blew him. him. <laughs> just blew him. You know yeah, but saying? Batman's so much cooler. Ba- I, I love Batman, though. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I, I disagree. Batman. I think Superman's way better than. I like them both. Oh, hell no. All right. Batman's fight. just some rich fucking guy. He's got nothing better to do than fight crime. Yeah, it's more. <laughs> realistic. At least he wants to fucking fight crime. Superman is Someone's like, got to do the dirty work. Shit that would never happen. He's trying to help people. But with Superman, think about this. He could have ended up like Clark, Clark Cunt <laughs> on, on Brightburn or yeah, whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. he chose not to, which would have been so much easier to be a badass and just fuck people I mean, that up. is true, though. I mean, you know, the the thing about that, that was cool about Superman that's a little different than Batman was there was no tragedy yeah. Or Superman well, to I mean, do good. Yeah, there was. Besides him leaving his planet. Well, his planet was destroyed. But he didn't know about <laughs> it. Besides his not knowing his real parents and him just kind of being sent off. But he didn't know that because he was a baby. He didn't know that until yeah. later on. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know that until later on. Do you think Mrs. Just, Kent b- breastfed Clark? <laughs> <laughs> now, well, let's sure. not get into this breastfeeding thing. Man. He would have probably sucked her nipple off. <laughs> that would have been painful, man. Maybe she tried, and then he's like, fuck, she's like, fuck this shit. Yeah. This guy's yeah. this motherfucker hurt. Yeah. Same lack for this. Damn, he got some strong jaws, boy. I think it, <laughs> it kind of depends on who's raising you. You know, this kind of like brings that into play. With who's kind of raising you, but then again, sometimes you're just kind of born evil. You know, yeah. you're born a psychopath to some extent. I think that's kind of where the premise of you know, and I like it. Burning, I, I, and I've always yeah. been interested like, in that kind of stuff. It's like, what what if you know uh, Martha and uh, Jonathan Kent were the same people? Everything happened the same way. Uh-huh. It was just the kid was. Dead. He was just right. He was you just know? not. It, this seems more the like same. General Zod landed yeah. on fucking Earth or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's a. <laughs> he said, David said, Clark Kent. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Antonio's on some shit today. Yeah, he is. I'm saying, um, <laughs> sorry, mom, if you're listening, <laughs> don't listen anymore. It's gonna get worse. Yeah, things are just gonna Please. get worse. My I'm mom really ain't excited about She it. had twelve children. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing either. I didn't know, and at first I was like, "Well, how are they doing this?" Because it is so close to Superman. Um, yeah. But if 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 anyone realizes, um. Well, I don't know. I, I, I guess if it's technically a parody, because I guess in a, in a way it is. Kind of. Um, it is fair game. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, you, they're not even named the same, are they? I mean, no. I think his name in was it. Brandon or some yeah. shit. Yeah. So they're do not you, even the same name. Do you think well, like Lex Luthor, but his name will be all fucking changed too, <laughs> is actually will be the good guy that's going to That would be say, cool. Right, yeah. You know what I'm cool saying? Yeah. yeah. Just well, it out well, there. see, and that's that's an interesting point too. So, like, the whole thing, the whole uh, premise of Lex now they're going to get their kryptonite, and that motherfucker's going to die. <laughs> so in this one, so listen, uh, uh, the whole thing, the whole basis on Lex Luthor was that you know, like, he always viewed aliens as a bad thing uh-huh. that that he could at any moment turn turn evil, turn evil, and destroy the world. That's why he was adamant about. Superman, but he wasn't bad, okay? So, now if you get that same person, and that guy is really bad, and the government just lets him loose, what would happen then? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's that would be interesting to see, mm-hmm. I think. I think Lex is gonna come up with some bad weaponry, you know? Mm-hmm. Be some shit. Tanks with fucking, uh, you know, uh, armored, pierced, uh, kryptonite tip fucking missiles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking badass. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, 
Um, we gotta go on break. Yeah, buddy. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna be talking about some crazy news. Crazy news time. And uh, the last blockbuster on Earth will tell you where it is. Keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Show. Beatboxing, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Super great. Super yeah. Great. I'll keep my day job. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's time for another giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> so this giveaway um is for Thursday, March 14th. Um mm-hmm. it's in Akron at Akron. Uh, Jilly's Music Room. Hmm. It's a night of comedy with Mike Logan and friends. Yay! That sounds nice. Um, so you can call in right now. Normally the tickets are ten dollars, but you call in right now. We'll give you a pair for free. For free. Uh, call two one six five eight four five seven one eight. 
Uh, the Ant Man is standing by to take your call. Or is he? Um, at the same time, if you want to make a donation <laughs> to the beer fund, I'm joking. I don't know. He's just being silly. Mm-hmm. It's his birthday. He's he's being real silly. Today. <clears throat> That's right. Happy birthday, Epic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what no. was that? that? Oh yeah, they just took Michael that Jackson. Simpson. Yeah, they just, they're taking that off the air. Yeah, they 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 are taking that. Off the air. I don't know why all of a sudden, though, dude. I don't know either. Uh, because yeah. all the allegation shit. I mean, hasn't like, that been like But that was like years, years ago. What the fuck? And they suddenly decided, hey, suddenly he decide, might be guilty. Hey, Who let's, knows? Let's take the white Michael well, Jackson episode off the air. Like, yeah. hmm. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just playing, like, mystical music. So, anyways. Um, I was just thinking, because we're waiting on callers. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of Mr. Trebek here. I yeah. think I, I think I can mind read the winner. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? I'll write it on a piece of paper, <laughs> <laughs> and then after it will open. Right. It doesn't count. <laughs> Damn it! It doesn't fucking count. I don't think it's gonna be David. He's in another state. Oh, yeah. tell me him. David calling. I don't think it's gonna tickets. be Tommy because he he won works. tonight. Huh? Tommy well, I know. and Chrissy is actually going to the one tonight. They I thought, won it was, nice. I thought it was for tomorrow. I thought it was Who yesterday. doesn't want free shit? Tomorrow, too. I, oh. I'd be calling in right you know, now. The, the main right? thing, is, the main thing is, I love free shit. I wonder how Me many. Too. Do you ever get callers like because you know we're live, so a lot of people view us after we're not yeah, live. Exactly. Well, they're probably fucking calling his phone and shit trying to you win know, the tickets. Are you fucking there? Uh, David said I'd call in if he was in Ohio. Yeah. We so know you call in, David. David. That's why I said, but you can't because you're in another state. Unless uh, you want to fly in. From- we knew you would, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. We knew it. We know you would. I know. You're supportive like that. That's right. Hey, um, speaking of being supportive, guys, um, what? we haven't sold one T-shirt yet. Oh, <laughs> jeez, man! What the fuck's wrong with oh, everybody? I out thought here. we had fans. What I know. The I mean, they're twelve we got, dollars. We got broke fans. That's I what guess. We I guess what I said. Everybody, like everybody's poor. Like, good thing you like guys it. don't have to pay for a subscription to watch uh, us. Uh, that's right. We would get zero views. We get no views. <laughs> Everyone hates us. Wah, that's okay. Wah, wah. I would watch us. I'd watch because it. I'm here. I'd watch us too, matey. <laughs> <laughs> matey. Matey. Um, you guys want to get into some crazy news? Let's get into some crazy news. All right. Okay. When crazy shit happens, the Epic Radio Show will be there to report and shit. It's time for crazy news. Get mad, I don't care. You could have said it through the entire crazy news. It's weird. Okay. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have made sense. Oh, I mean, so. You gotta but go I with the cared. rhythm. There's it no been, rhythm. It, it would have been like. Fuck wrong with you. When crazy shit happens, tiny, tiny balls. balls. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there, tiny balls. To report you know, tiny balls and <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's time for tiny balls. <laughs> exactly. Is he kind of, tiny balls. You kind hey, of fucked up my shit. Yeah, where are you, tiny balls? We haven't heard from you in jeez. <laughs> How they long? gave up. He oh, gave yeah. up. I think I. What did you do? Made did a you... mistake. Oh, he fucked hey, up. Hey, it hard. literally was like a kid from like. I, I'm was, really. Do you think that one fan that called was that him? Tiny that, balls. That little kid that called us. Tiny Remember? balls. Was who? Was tiny balls? Who? Look at. Remember the little kid called and he was like uh, Indian or whatever. I mean, people, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was he was cool. He was oh. he, just, <laughs> he was nice. Yeah, I wasn't there for that one. Fuck you. No. I am Robert. <laughs> oh, was that him? Was that? I think we called him Robert, but his name was. I have. I just made that. Shit it was, he has made that. So shit. afterwards, we were like, "Oh no, his name's not." I just know uh, Indian it's people Raji are, or something. are always fucking calling me from AT&T, and they always have this American name, you know. I just said Sarah, call him from AT&T. <laughs> Your name ain't Sarah. Ain't no, it's, hey, Sarah. It's more like it's Sadasha. Sa- it's Sarjari. Sarjari or something. Sadasha. No, but, but no, no. Um, yeah, I, I get, I get a lot of uh, we uh, these these. <laughs> Someone's for crazy, dude. Right? Oh, yeah, this, is, ahead, crazy this is pretty this crazy. crazy. I mean, this I is guess. crazy. Yeah. You yeah. ever get the Chinese calls where they like call you and you answer, nope. but they use your own like f- first area code and your first three numbers and then whatever no. for? Yeah, so you you think it's a real number? You yeah. pick it up and they're like. And you don't even understand. Right before we get into crazy news, I, I do have a quick story. All right. So, 
Uh, speaking of like these robocalls that use like local numbers and stuff, uh-huh. I think our show number is being used by robocalls to call people. Because I got a call the other day. Uh, this guy's like, you call me every single day. What do you want? You call me every <laughs> single day. Oh, like, sir, this is a radio show. Yeah, like, we're not We don't call you. anybody. Like, what are you talking about? You could, no. Is that no. first? Well, because, you know, the number goes on to my cell phone. Yeah. So I thought I was talking about my cell phone. I said, I don't know. I must be butt dialing you. <laughs> but I don't even know who the fuck you are. are you? And then I said, well, what number is it? And he told me, and it was and, a radio show number. And an epic. You know what you, yeah. your, his, your response to him should be? I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> Click. <laughs> All right, um, crazy news. No, hang on. David said, Jay, I actually got four scam calls last week. Someone was calling my number. Like, what? Calling from my number. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. You, Epic just said that. Said because that. it's funny. It's pretty funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's going on with the world today? Cyber bullies. <laughs> Cyber bullies. <laughs> fucking giant cunt. Uh, what? It's a it's a term my dad used to use okay. back, in, back in the day from his military experience over in China. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like, Viet like like Viet Viet gotcha. Cong, like the uh, Zycon or what? I mean, what was the Viet that Viet place Kong. called Viet Cong? But it was like um, what Charlie? Z- uh, <laughs> no, it was something Con. It was the the Charlie the place, Con. Uh, I can't. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It was the place that got like. Um, fucking run Charlie. down or whatever. It was like the government of. I, I know what you're talking, you know what I'm about. talking about. It was yep. something con or something like that. The Viet Cong? The no, Viet, it Cong. Viet Cong. It wasn't Viet Cong. It was oh like something Zycon or something. I don't it's know. A, it's in a song. Can we too? please get the crazy news? All right, guys. Crazy news. <laughs> Man makes entire house pink, says neighbors can't do anything about it. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty much. Um, I cannot pronounce this fucking place in Texas right now. Mm. Uh, I think there's like a typo too. I can't pronounce it. Oh well. A Texas neighborhood is in an uproar over a Pepto Bismol full on flamingo <laughs> pink panther pink house. But the homeowner doesn't care what his neighbors or anyone thinks. Emilio Rodriguez says, It's just my favorite color. <laughs> Rodriguez bought his home in November when it had uh, when it had a plain shade of white. Now the walls are pink, the gutters are pink, the roof is pink, the chimney is pink. It's pink as shit. It's all pink. I did the back first, the whole back of the house, and then I did the whole house. Rodriguez loves pink so much, he showed off the large pink tattoo he has across his chest and neck. And legit, he does. Like, I watched the video. Wow. Um, he said a house painted like this was his dream home. And he said, annoyed neighbors aren't going to phase him. He chose his neighborhood, particularly because there was no homeowners association to block him. No <laughs> HOA. I pre-planned this specifically because of that reason. So, when people get mad, I explain there is no HOA here. So, this was... Pr- Premeditation. Oh, yeah. Yes. He wanted a pink ass Sick house. Fuck. <laughs> Sick fuck. Um, after a car accident and years of health problems left him in a wheelchair, Rodriguez says the pink house is part of the Keep Austin weird vibe. That's what people are saying. They're like, why are people so freaked out? Have they never been to Austin? I just want to know what this motherfucker does on the side because you know he's just getting disability oh. and that fucking house is huge. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Neighbors who and disagree. You know, he didn't do that shit himself. Premeditated Pepto Bismol, David. Does it say what he does for a fucking? I'm um, seeing. I don't think so, though. So yeah. Neighbors what? who disagree may turn to may turn to a lawsuit to try and press the issue. Rodriguez, though, doesn't see the big deal. I love this house. He said, "I don't know why people don't like it." You nope. know what? The, the way I look at it, fuck them people, man. <laughs> it's not like, their fucking it, house. You know, it's, he he has to be the one to deal with it. What like? And at least it's done right, though. I mean, yeah, it doesn't there. look like it's a. Sh- I mean, sure, it's pretty pink. It's but, pink as hell, but but it looks like it was done right. Though. Who in their did, right why, fucking mind? What was the whole reason house? he did it? Because pink's his favorite color, and he always has his dream house. I will oh. tell you, man, bro. I think he might be a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean so the Barbie yeah. house, growing up, the Barbie cool house was weird. his favorite house. That was his thing. Pretty much. That's Bar- what he the always Barbie wanted. House. Yeah, I'll tell you always- what, nobody's going to fuck with them because one, he's gay. Two, he's fucking crippled. He's a fucking minority. He's got a, He's got it all oh, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. covered. He's got it covered, man. No like, one, those fucking white neighbors aren't going to say shit. Hey, fuck they it, They are man. saying shit. They're trying to sue them. Uh, quietly. How the quietly. hell are you going to sue lawsuit. someone for paying their house? That's so <laughs> stupid. Like, yeah, it may not be Dude, your first color, of all, but yeah, fuck it. First of all, the guy can paint his house whatever color he yeah, wants. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what I was, that was my point. Yeah, I mean, come on. It doesn't come matter. On. It doesn't affect you. It's America. 
America. Yeah. Paint your house. We got Pink. Larry calling it. All right, definitely. So, hey, um, real quick, though, before that, uh, the, the, uh, hold on, I'll tell, I was going to tell Go ahead. Ant Man. So, uh, oh, yeah. and, so, anyways, yeah, it was the fall of Viet, Viet, <laughs> uh, it was the call, fall of Vietnam, uh, Saigon. Saigon. Yeah, that's yep. what I was thinking yep. of, yeah. Um, Tokar said the Pink Panther hideout. Yeah, do 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 do. Hey, what's doo-doo. going on, Larry? Hey, what's going on, guys? What's hey, up? what's up? What's up? Uh, uh, am I okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can hear you. We said what's up. What's up, man? Okay. Hey, hey, I wanted to say uh, happy birthday to Epic. Thank you, man. Hell I appreciate yeah. it. That's so nice. I know. I wish you were here today, but, you know. Uh, we don't have enough fucking room. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, well, we he could have yeah. squeezed in somewhere. Sat on Jay's gotta, lap. No, Epic has a perfect can that could fit. He, uh, <laughs> you, someone what? could have sat on someone's lap. He could have oh, sat on God. Jay's lap, or Epic's lap, or Antonio's lap. Any of, not me though. You could, you could have looked like a Siamese twin with somebody. Right. Oh, yeah, great. we got, we got this. <laughs> it's been great. It would have been a good time. What you been up to, Larry? See, I got a bad signal. I feel like Jay right now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Can I you hear us now? Oh man. Better? Yeah, see, we're right? making all these really now, fun Now you jokes see what I go through when I do my segment? Well, Jay won't uh, go half on the system that would actually eliminate that. So hey, fuck bullshit. Jay. I never hey. said I would not go half. You gotta stop using Boost Mobile, man. <laughs> I don't have Boost. I have AT&T, bitch. Right, you gotta get Verizon. <laughs> no, Verizon oh, is horrible. No, they're not. No. I, we forgot I, Larry's I on the travel phone. and that's the best what, phone service you can have. He's probably picking up the weirdest I, shit. I got just no. like, what the fuck? Larry, what's up, Larry? There? There? This is so bad. Hey! <laughs> well, so bad. Call him. Just on my phone. I'm gonna watch phone. now. Yeah. He's it's gonna been watch. Great so far. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Larry. Going back to watch it. Yeah. All right. Okay, great, bro. <laughs> we'll talk about Saturday later. All right. What do you gotta say about the pink house? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, what do you have to say about the pink house? You know with it. Oh, the pink house yes. looks amazing. I yes. would, I would have done it orange though. Oh. Me and him aren't friends anymore. Orange. <laughs> yes, brown's orange. <laughs> Hell yeah, uh, I agree. No, with I would have done it. I would have gone to Fl- Florida and done it orange. Ugh. Oh. At least it's in Florida. I won't like have to see it. Like sun-kissed orange. Like yeah. sun-kissed. <laughs> Sunkiss is not a sponsor of the show. Just saying. <laughs> okay. So silly. Thanks, but thank, Larry. thank you, Larry. I Thanks, appreciate Larry. it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, no problem. See you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, second story. Second or yes? story. Here All we right, go. Let's do it. Okay. Married cousin. Oh, well, oh man. I, I wanted to. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you want to say? Just no, say I, it. I, it was excitement. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Married cousins hope to change Utah laws to recognize their union. Jesus Ew. Um, Eagle Mountain, yeah. Utah. A pair of first cousins in Utah are fighting for the right to get married mm. in their home state, saying their love shouldn't be limited just because their parents are siblings. So, so okay, damn West Virginia <laughs> rules are spreading everywhere else now. <laughs> They're kissing in this picture. Ew. Kissing cousins. Uh, Michael and Angie Lee. <laughs> <Lynch. laughs> She's my second cousin. Oh, my up, God. <laughs> Tied the knot Monday in Colorado after they say they've loved each other since childhood. Since the, the family reunion. Pretty much. Yeah, right. <laughs> since they I met. seen her across Eight, the room. Like I said, Paul, ago. who was that? And she said, he said. I got a funny story about that, actually. that's your cousin. <laughs> he said, well, man. Paul, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that was it. Jesus I'll only fuck. approve of this because it actually fits in with what we're talking about. No, okay, go. Okay, but the couple isn't legally married in their home state of Utah because they are cousins. Go fucking figure. As soon as we crossed over the state border, we're not married anymore. Michael Lee said, "In uh, Utah, it is illegal for first cousins to get married unless they are sixty-five or fifty-five if they can prove they are infertile." The fuck? That's, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking speaking of, is it legal? What kind of fucking rule is God this? Damn. I know. If you're 65, you're you're like old enough to fucking marry your cousin, apparently. Yeah. Unless you're you incredible at 55. Wait, and then the Just, father looked at the son and said, Well, boy, you're, you're going to have to wait till you're 55. Well, I'm from Alabama. Just, and my just, family tree has no branches. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
Looks <laughs> like a telephone pole. <laughs> So I got a couple comments before I finish this ain't story. Down. It's just a fucking stalk. It's, just, it's, right, it's nothing. A fucking Straight stalk. Up. It's a stalk. Nothing's there. That's perfect. A stalk. It's just a fucking stalk. <laughs> <laughs> and there ain't no fucking branches. At the top, it's one little leaf. That's it. Oh, man. It's a fucking... <laughs> that's, that's the third cousin. <laughs> it's a little leaf. <laughs> Jesus. I got comments. Okay. Okay. Tokar said... Um, this is, I guess, to you, Jay. As long as he doesn't hold his hiccups, he has nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I heard it's illegal to hold your breath, Jay, in West Virginia. You may pass out. Oh, shit. That was good, bro. Oh, oh, God. God. Hey, oh man. I hope you're doing well, Tokar. Yeah, Tokar. We, we, you, we love you, brother. We miss you, man. You need to oh, comment in more, man. Comments, man. We, we like that shit, man. Um, Larry said, that was, that was too close to home sounding for you, Aunt. LOL. I guess all those... Uh, down, 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 down. <laughs> hey, I, my family does come from Booger Hole, West Virginia. <laughs> Booger Hole. Um, Joe, Booger Hole. Joe Mo said, I guarantee you. Wait a minute, do they really? I swear I can't. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I was going to say, I've never heard of no fucking Italians hey. in fucking West Virginia. <laughs> like, Booger Hole, West Virginia. Dude, the only Italians I've ever heard of is when my fucking stepmom <laughs> that my father married oh my made my it's Italian terrible. father move to West Virginia. Hey, I'm sure. Did he feel out of place? This fucking I'm sure there's story. some dangos in West Virginia. Oh. Somewhere. Yeah, hiding out. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's done, I'll continue. All right, it's all good. I'm good. Joe Mo said, I guarantee those cousins are Steelers fans. Yeah. Oh, oh, God damn. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, Larry said, Ant is straight sounding like he's speaking from experience. It sounds too real. Um, David Frank said, shots fired. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because he felt that Steelers joke. Holy shit. Hey, Joe Mo, that was good, bro. That was good. <laughs> Um, Joe Most also said, there will be no CSI Utah. Everyone's got the same DNA. <laughs> Dude, that's, oh man, that's you got awesome. punchlines, yeah, bro. Yeah. All right. We'll everyone's got, that was cool. Everyone's got jokes today. No, everybody's got no CSI, jokes. everyone's got the same DNA. Yeah. Like, damn, that's just, that's good. Okay. Um, We're bringing the whole family in. Five of you. Five of you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So the least. Hey, age. but one, one, more yeah, one more thing. Jesus. One more okay. thing. All right. We're like, Their family's gonna look like the fucking cast from Hills Have Eyes. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I love that movie. Though. Um, the least say that the law is antique, antiquate, antiquated. I don't know how to say that word. I think they're right, antiquated. Okay, and there's no real basis for the restriction. They started other than a, their cousins. Right? Other than their cousins, <laughs> they started a care to petition and are gathering signatures in hopes of changing it. Um, he said, no one I've ever been with will make me feel as perfect as she does on her being my cousin. And some of the responses is a small price to pay. I've always loved you, Angie. You know that. Uh, the couple says it all started with a crush in the second grade. Oh, God. I remember I stopped her mother and said, I'm going to marry Angie. It's funny you guys were talking about that. Oh. Um, and she said, no, I'm sorry, you can't. But so, you can be friends. So so it was the mom, not the dad. The mom was like, uh, no, you can't do uh, that. Yeah, the mom, the dad would be like, go for it, son. <laughs> you can do it. The mom's oh, like, the terrible. mom was like, stop the car, like, uh, no. The mom's sure. like, what wait a minute, kind of wait a fucking family did I She's like, marry into? She was like, man, I'm from normal. Ohio. <laughs> we don't do <laughs> that shit up here. there. We don't marry our cousin. <laughs> Go to West Your father's fan side of the family does that shit, boy. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was fucked up. All right. Angie Lee's father is the oldest of 12 children. <laughs> <laughs> How long is that? Hold on. He's getting bigger <laughs> up in there. Hold on. Yeah! Hold on. He about Get along there, dog. It's easy for you guys to act fucking stupid because no one, no cameras are on y'all. <laughs> Why do you sound like trust in the cloud? <laughs> Here comes the breakdown. Get it in, son. Get it in. I'm going to watch, boys. <laughs> go ahead. Go dance with your new cousin sister. Uh, cousin and old wife. You give it to her, boy. Get down. You're fucking for your family. <laughs> driver, you understand? Like, yeah, driver, brother. Um, let's see. <laughs> Tokar said we keep it in the family. That's right. Uh, David Frank says, how does their family <laughs> feel about that? And eventually, I think I'll get the the family reaction. 
Yeah. Um, okay. So Angie Lee's father is the oldest of 12 children, and oh. Michael Lee's mother is the fifth child in the same family. Over the years, family vacations would bring the Lees together, but they say social norms would always draw them apart again. So sad. So fucking oh, sad. Mm-mm. <laughs> Uh, the Lees both recently single reunited in the winter after 10 years, and now they say they're finally ready to disregard the risks. We're like, okay, this is crazy, but we're adults now, and we're single, so we're just going to go for it, and who cares what our family thinks? The heart wants what the heart wants. Mm, basically. Um, according to researchers at Columbia University, first cousins share 12.5% of their DNA. If the cousins have children, they would face a 4-7% to 7% chance of their child having a genetic disorder, as opposed to 3-4% to 4% chance for the average couple not being cousins. Um, the genetic consequences, the biological consequences are very small. It's more <laughs> what people might think and say. Their fucking kid's gonna look like a cyclops. So... <laughs> There's no family like, responses here, but I'm sure the family is not feeling chicken. it. Just to for the chicken. record. You want, a, you want some candy or a whooping? A whooping? I'll take a whooping ball. This is terrible. I'm fucking retarded. Oh my god, this is terrible. Stop it. A whooping. God, stop. Stop. Oh my god. All right, last story. Last story, finally. Right. The moral of the story, kids. <laughs> don't marry your cousins. Don't marry your cousins. Don't procreate Kissing with cousins, your cousins is an expression that people laugh at. When they see you in public, they're going to laugh at you. Like I said, I oh, did wow. have a side story to this. Yeah. That's a side story. I gotta hear. Um, it. It's not that. It's not that ridiculous. Oh, but um, you never kissed your cousin. Actually. No, oh, okay. no. Disgusting. No. Okay, no. But um. At a funeral when I was younger, I think it was like 2006, my one of my cousins, I guess, asked his, um, which is my dad's sister, asked his mom who I was mm-hmm. and said I was really pretty. Mm-hmm. And she's like, um, that's your cousin. Oh, so, because we didn't see each other very much because of like family <laughs> shit. But well, that's like, understandable. She's like, oh, well, that's your cousin. And then it was funny because. She's pretty. <laughs> basically. <laughs> did did, did, he, did he say, well. I'm going to marry I her. Don't, I didn't get that much info about it. All I heard was what I said. And then at my grandpa's funeral, like six years later. You know what's really came funny up, about that story? No, no, no. I different. was the cousin. Oh! <laughs> you dirty, you dirty no, dog. <laughs> you dirty. <laughs> oh, she's real cute. You dirty motorboat bastard, you. <laughs> Philip, Philip, you dirty dog, you. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Grandpa ain't even cold yet. Oh my God. <laughs> Grandpa ain't even cold yet. He'd be, if he was in that bug right now, he'd be flipping and turning and throwing all over the place. <laughs> what the mate. fuck are you saying? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, basically, six years later, my grandpa's funeral, my other cousin was wondering who I was. And, oh, God. Yeah, the oh, older cousin. Heard so, wait, another, like, damn, another one? His brother, his older brother. Was <laughs> so, his older, was like so DJ both Khaled. brothers were trying to just tag I don't, team. I don't, I, don't it. I don't know if in that instance, the older brother was like asking, like, because he thought I was attractive, but. They, they both were like, get down. That one on might it. have not just known who I was at all. He's get like, what the fuck is that? It. But I know the younger one that was like, he thought I was real pretty. We fuck family. Get <laughs> no, we down don't. It. No, no. <laughs> oh, None God. of that. No. Nope. I'm seriously about to die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that day is just 499. Oh this is God. terrible. <laughs> this is the, that was the worst story I covered yet. <laughs> so, yeah, she was hiding that story to the grave, and we brought it out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the Epic Radio Show, guys. What Subscribe, about hit that like button. Cousins <laughs> having relations. I'm waiting. Yeah, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was, start, I was about to start hay dancing in this bitch. Hay dancing? Or whatever the fuck. Square dancing? Square, square dancing. dancing. Like hay dancing. dancing. Hay, hay dancing. dancing. Square dancing. Hey, you get over here. Circle dancing. Circle jerking. Circle jerking. Oh, my God. Yeah. Chicken, uh, Larry chicken Brazil. jerking. Okay. Larry said, keeping it in the family runs in the fam, huh? My head hurts. <laughs> so, so, what did he say keeping it in the family me? runs in the fam. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh someone gross. once told me closer to Ken, deeper in. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh. That was in Booger Hole, West Virginia, by the way. Man, Booger Hole, West Virginia, where all the Italians come from. <laughs> all the Italians. <laughs> Damn it! Anthony's dad, my dad, all of our dads come from Booger Hole, West Virginia. <laughs> You're gonna have a good time. 
This is terrible. Yeah, we're really good. Damn. Um, let's see. <clears throat> we are running over like a mother. I know. Only if we're in witness protection. Tokar said, Jay, nice, cool, and the gang impression. <laughs> All right. Next, next story. story. All right. Next story. Man <laughs> finds his two-year uh, long block nose was caused by a tooth growing in his nose. Ooh. <laughs> there it the is, Jay. Fuck? You can see it. There it is Wait, for you. Wait, so what was going on? That's a tooth that was in his nose. That's some disgusting shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a man... Your wisdom tooth <laughs> fucked you up. You know what it is? He probably had a cleft palate or some shit. And mm-hmm. It- and fucking yeah. boom. Am I right? I didn't even. Read I don't this. know. I haven't got there. I don't Could know. have been. Yeah, probably. <laughs> don't know yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. A man in Denmark has finally got relief from years of an unexplained blocked nose when doctors discovered a tooth in his nostril. Uh, nice. Doctors were shocked to find the rare condition in the 59 year old who had been yeah. complaining of nasal congestion problems, discharge, ew, and a loss of sense of smell for two years. That's I wouldn't disgusting. have waited two fucking yeah, years. Yeah, two years, you can't smell shit. I been I'd be like, like, hmm, something's wrong with <clears> me. <throat> Like, what the fuck's wrong with me? I can't smell nothing. <laughs> so the individual had I'm suffered... I'm surprised it wasn't painful. Yeah. yeah like, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that kind of affect your taste, kind of, too? How I, far is it up there? I don't know. It might show a picture here in a minute. I don't think Tommy does, though. The individual had suffered facial trauma when he was young, which had left him with a fracture to his jaw and nose. But doctors said there was no evidence to suggest repositioning following the incident was connected to the nasal growth condition. So... Um, our patient most likely had the in intranasal retained tooth most of his life, but had late onset of symptoms. That's oh, dumb. I don't know. God, is that the t- yeah, he had a fucking shit. wisdom tooth out yeah, there? Or that's something. Damn, yeah, that's um, that's yeah. pretty. The tooth fucking extraction weird. took place at University Hospital in the ear, nose, and throat facility. After a CT scan, the doctors used an endoscope <laughs> to perform the surgery. The exact cause of the rare condition is unknown, as only 23 patients have ever been identified with incidents covering the years wow. 1959 to 2008. Wouldn't you know if you got a tooth missing in your fucking jaw? What like, if it's not missing? What it, if it's it just like a there. Yeah, what if it's just like an extra It was a new tooth. You know what I'm saying, though? Like, where did that go? Um, So, did he have to put a toothbrush up his nose to brush (laughs) it? If he didn't know, (laughs) motherfucker, he wouldn't have done that. (laughs) Hey, you know what? He should have just let it fall out. (laughs) And uh, Larry said, Italians. I Italians. I Italians. I Italians. I Italians. Yeah. That's how they say it in Booger Roll. <laughs> all right, let's move on. This this well, was, that like, was it for the crazy That's news. all the crazy news today. Yeah, which was super crazy today. <laughs> super crazy news. Oh. So the Orville, the Orville, uh, a show that me and Ashley enjoy love it. that show. <laughs> they have a comic I've book. Never coming heard out. of it. Well, that's because you suck, Jay. Yeah. Fuck. So basically, Stay what the Orville this. is is basically almost a parody of uh, uh, Star Trek. It's on Fox. Um, mm-hmm. It's actually really good. It's really good. Larry likes it too, so yeah. Larry's in the. But there's a He's there's a comic book Orville. coming out. Orville, hey. though, what's it about though? It's, I think I've heard I of it. Just, oh 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 no 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 no! I've heard of it. Yeah, it's with the guy from um, Family Guy. Family Guy. Yes. Okay, it's gotcha. really good though. I wasn't sure it's like a in Star the beginning. Trek knockoff or something. So I'm coming, I like it. Coming this July, um, the Orville will be in comic book form. Yay! So all of your favorites. Um, Characters will come to life in a different. Not now. Is that way. is that meaning the the show when you watch it's going to be a comic book? No, no. Well, it's, it's going to be comics comic. based on. So Dark they're making Horse. a comic. Yes, yeah. Dark Horse Comics will bring awesome. this out. I follow in sci fi series. I just comic love book reading stores. comics oh God, over watching Jay. the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited though. They're, that's pretty cool. It's wait, going to be a four issue series. So you're buying the comics. Tell me, Mike. I might. You guys are excited. excited. I would not excited be excited it. for a TV show created into a comic. I would be That's excited because you're for a, a dick, Jay. I would be excited for <laughs> a, a comic? comic created into a TV That's what it, show. That's what it always is. This is like going the opposite way. <laughs> it's so hey, good, it's like a comic when comics are like I think we should kick like Jay off the show because he's being a dick right, right now. <laughs> because that's what they always do. Does comics are really made into shows. Wait, no, yeah. Comics are their price values down. It's like nobody well, fucking cares I will, about comics I will say that uh, <clears throat> maybe this will bring it up. Hang on, Larry. Larry's got a com- a comment. He said the story was Fox owed Seth for keeping Family Guy on the network because he was going to move it to cable. Mm. That's what Larry says. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, I do got the second edition of Batman. 
which is uh, probably pretty, worth some bucks, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like those comics, the big time comics like that, like the Batman, Supermans, <laughs> the them comics. Yeah, but then you see these, fu- dude. You'll have like people with boxes of comics yeah. that you never even heard of that are like <laughs> shit comics. You're like yeah. what the fuck is this? Only like, reason eyebrow why eyebrow man or some eyebrow shit. man. I only, shit. I only, I only <laughs> fucking collected I comics because everybody else man. was in the neighborhood. I know? love. The I show. got Cyclops Dick first give a edition. Shit. <laughs> That's like. You would have Cyclops Dick First Edition. <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> just, I'm just saying. But I, you know, I comic book sales bullshit. are in decline. I don't know if we covered that last week. I, I could have swore I did. But, I think um, you did something about comic books. But uh, you did. I, Disney I, I, is actually thinking about shutting down Marvel, the comic book. Like the comic book section of Marvel, yeah, yeah. Actually, thinking of shutting that down. Well, you look what you look at the the and and it's nothing against comic books yeah. because when they came out, it was amazing. And no. but you look at the really you, yeah <laughs> you look at the future though and like the generation and what's coming yeah. them kids aren't reading shit uh, they're they're kids morons are dumb. kids yeah, are they're fucking, fucking morons Jesus I hope I, I hope my everything's got to be auto tuned for them to listen any to any type of music <laughs> and then it's like they. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just uh, not, not. It's not an era that's gonna be fucking wanting to read um, comic books. Jay Tokar said Jay reads the Triple X Men. <laughs> <laughs> triple X Men. The Triple X. What is it? <laughs> oh my God! Like Triple Jesus. X. What is Triple X Men? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I have no fucking. Idea. I don't fucking. Oh I don't get that joke. These Jesus. guys are getting it. I don't understand it. It's like. Triple X is like porn, dude. I've never even I've heard of like Hustler and fucking Oh my god. Uh, Playboy. I've never heard of Triple X. It's a joke. Oh, okay. Because he's Sorry, like, hey, sorry, Tucker, I did not the last joke was awesome. If, if I had a porno book, it would be called Schmutt. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. I, I don't read porn magazines, so I did not get that joke. Uh, who who could do that when because you got porn it was home? a combination <laughs> between a porn and comic book? Like X Men. Who said Vin Diesel? Oh, again? gotcha. Okay. Who is, oh who is, but see, I didn't get the, the joke fuck? because I don't know what the fuck. Who is the under porn the FF radio show saying was. Vin Diesel porn? <laughs> Uh, wait, what do you say, Vin Diesel? No, it says the Epic Radio Show said Vin Diesel porn, and I'm under Ashley Garsky, so that's not me. Vin Diesel. Someone said Vin Diesel porn. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who wait, was. someone in the it show. It says the Epic Radio Show Vin Diesel porn. <laughs> so was it Tokar? Be, maybe well, it's got to be Tokar or Ashley. It's not me. I, I'm just, I didn't fucking. I'm not that bro. You guys are sabotaging us. Sabotaging. <laughs> <laughs> It's Vin Diesel porn. Vin Diesel. Could have been Goldie, too. Maybe. Yeah, but no, I'm sorry. No, I don't think Goldie's popped up. If, if I knew what that first mag was, I probably would have got the joke, but I flew right over my head, brother. That's all right. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. I get on. the X-Men yeah. part, and he explained it to me, but the triple X, I was like, huh? 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 Moving on. Moving on. So In a the world. world. <clears throat> In a world where, where all the blockbusters are closing down, are fucking gone. There's one left. One left in a world on Earth, and stands <laughs> alone. I'll bet you I know where it's at. Where? Somewhere out west. It is. It's where? What Somewhere do you mean? Like fucking west. like Salt Lake City? I would say California or some stupid shit. Yeah, some it's, stupid shit. It's gonna be in fucking. It's gonna be in like uh, Lone Star, California, or some shit. <laughs> some little ass town. Yep. That's all they have. Yes. It was Larry. Um, By the way, Larry said Vin Diesel point. Gotcha. Vin Diesel. I knew it was somebody. Um, anyways, so the last blockbuster is in Bend, Oregon. Oh, Bend. I knew it. I, it was up there. Bend? It was right there. Bend, Oregon. Right yeah. next to California. Um, they discovered Bend. when the only other store in the world located in Australia announced it was closing. They didn't get huh. the memo. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, so they just stayed closed? open. Their employers are like, oh, why ain't we getting paid? <laughs> we'll work for free. <laughs> Here we go again. We'll work for Jesus. free. Oh, man. Um, well, Larry said North Dakota, but it's yeah. obviously not North Dakota. After the last couple of blockbusters closed in Alaska in 2018, the Ben store celebrated becoming the sole blockbuster in America <laughs> by selling T-shirts and hats. That's funny. Um, now earning the title of the last one on the planet is not hurting us, Harding said. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the store manager. Uh, in fact, 
It will probably be good for business and attract more nostalgia-seeking visitors. Yeah. So they're not planning... On closing? On closing. But if you look at the pictures, uh, this was actually uh, reported by CNN Business. Mm -hmm. But there's... uh, I mean, it looks... There's so much nostalgia. Mm -hmm. I know, right? What do you mean? Well, look at the <sighs> pictures. I mean, what's the last time you've seen? Sheesh, look at that black. I, that brings back memories as I know, a kid. You know? Mm-hmm. They so, should make it a museum. Uh, that would be an interesting idea. Um, I had to say this because it was a good joke. Um, Larry said, right next to over. Bend. <laughs> bend. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Right next to over. <laughs> I like that song. Right that. next to bend over. <laughs> Oh, oh geez. Someone's getting this blockbuster. And then Larry said, is that something you celebrate? <laughs> yes. No, right? Yeah. That is something you fucking celebrate, That's Larry. a sinking fucking ship. Are you kidding me? Hey, but you know what? Fuck it. They're, if they're happy, <laughs> let them be happy. Hey, man, that's the only thing they got in that small-ass town. <laughs> yeah, fucking probably. blockbuster. I know. They were happy as shit back in 1984 when that motherfucker was first built. They're like, <laughs> we're getting us a blockbuster! <laughs> And they were just so excited. <laughs> they still have the VH tapes and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Fucking have eight track cassettes for sale on the side. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we gotta go on a break. Yeah, yeah we gotta insane. go on a break. <laughs> when we get back, Everyone's we're gonna crazy. have get to work with David Franks if he's still yeah. around. If he's still around, yeah. yeah. David, he he jumps ship on us. He's like, what the hell? Like, this is some bullshit. They're talking yeah. about inbred shit and all kinds <laughs> of blockbuster <laughs> video and shit. How they wanna be serious. Go. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we go on break, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Epic Music Radio. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Epicness216. Um, if you like the show, please share it. Um, oh, yeah, get other here. people. What's yes. that? David's here. Yeah, yeah. He said he loves the hillbilly jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, like my boy said, subscribe. Hit the like button, <laughs> all that stuff, because we got all shit stuff. coming, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to do a hee haw, but yeah, it's probably Tommy Gun or tow car, yeah, know. or tow car. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we got get the work. 
Um, did you get David on the line? Uh, it, he if, was too busy. If it wasn't for that fucking heckler. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. You son of a bitch. We're going to be a little over today. It's all right. There's four of us. It's expected. Mm-hmm. 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 Calling them now. Calling them now. Oh, you are? All right, we're about to put you on right now. Sit. All right, let's um, let's do the intro, intro for Get the Work, intro. and then uh, he'll be right on. Get to work. Yeah, I'm sure Crystal <laughs> loves that, inter- that intro, too, David. I know, right? <laughs> hey guys, thanks for having I me. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Uh, has uh, Chris ever watched the show? It's a no. <laughs> it's a no. Is he, Wait. is he on? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, we couldn't hear you. We're, does Chris ever listen to the show? Because Crystal, I think every once in a blue moon she does. Normally okay. on Sundays, like right now, she's heading into work for a little bit. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So she she just she always watches it on the shows where you're not on, and she just <laughs> misses the the intro. Yeah, I would avoid I would avoid me at all costs too. I don't blame her for that. <laughs> we weren't talking about you, brother. We're talking about the intro that would piss any wife off. <laughs> no, nah, not me. Except for Ashley. Except for Ashley. Ashley's cool. <laughs> God damn it, snap. You know what? Fuck you, Nat. Why gotta be so aggressive? All right. What do you have for us today, David? So first yeah. off, start off with a joke, right? We're talking about the hillbilly cousins oh, that boy. made each other. <laughs> so how did that guy get castrated? Anybody know? No. I have no clue. Somebody kicked his cousin in the chin. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, all right, all right. Let's that's go. terrible. <laughs> you're so, that's terrible. I Jeez. still think you're a good guy, though. That would fucking hurt. <laughs> that would fucking hurt. <laughs> hey, but you got to understand, though, it, it's only going to work if they have teeth. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's, that's, true. that's why they have a toothbrush. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. A toothbrush. That, that's what happened to that guy. That's why he had a tooth in his nose. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, connecting all the shows. Yeah, Sheesh. all the little crazy newses today, mm-hmm. except the pink house guy. He's left out. Well, the pink house well, guy. Well, they, just... they did it in the or, pink house. Yeah, yeah, they, they all lived the with guy. the guy in the pink house. Uh-huh. <laughs> all righty, David. All right. Well, all right. Here's what I got. I thought I'd try to change it up just a <laughs> little bit. Maybe it'll cause some of you guys to think a little bit when I'm going through the motions too. So, okay. I was thinking about ridiculous call offs. And people okay. calling off the of work for the stupidest things. Oh, We've all okay. done that oh, yeah. some time in our career. Especially this time of year, everybody's got spring fever. They they want the snow to be off the ground mm-hmm. and the cold, crappy weather. So I was checking some things out, and there was an article published by Business Insider. Career Builder actually did a study about three years ago about the most common and real life excuses people used to get out of work. And you're not going to believe some of these, so <laughs> just prepare yourself. Okay. okay. I got one for you too. Okay, and I can't wait. That's what All I was right. going to say right at the end. I want to hear one of the ones maybe you guys used to call off of work to do nothing or to get the hell out of there. But, <laughs> so apparently 38% of people usually call off and they use the same excuse of, oh, I'm sick. I don't yeah. feel good. I'm sick, right? We all know that. Mm-hmm. But my advice to you is just be honest because the this survey also revealed that uh, 25% of employers will actually research your excuse. Huh. So whatever way you tell them, they're going to try to look for it, and they will fire you if they find out that you lied. Yeah, like a doctor's note or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, and here, this is, a, this is the real part before I go into the silliness. Today's day and age with depression and morality and everything, it is okay to tell your supervisor, I need a mental health day. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to relax. Things have been stressful at work. You know, take a vacation day. I need a mental yeah. health day. That Dude, is a very I, yeah. serious, mm-hmm. very real excuse. And by all means, if you need it, that's what you need to I, I actually have a, um, um, just to input real quick, quick on that, okay? Yeah. The, com- the company I actually work for, um, when I was coming home this last time, like I've been very upset about, uh, I get depressed a lot and shit and, uh, and down. And I've actually um, been upset about my pay and everything, my pay raise, everything. I feel that I'm worth 
more. I know everyone does, but I'm one of the top guys at my company and I'm a company guy. I'm old school. I'm, you know, I'm very dedicated. Um, and uh, I told him and I had a meeting just recently with him. And, you know, I've been going for months at a time. Epic knows. Yeah. And, and uh, everybody that watches the show. Yeah, everyone that watches the show. And I actually just had a meeting with them. I sat down and they even told me, man, because they were like, listen, listen, man, whatever we can do. You know, I was honest with them, and uh, they said, whatever we can do, and the owner heard about it. He was like, no way, we can't have him unhappy. So they brought me in, um, and they were just like, um, listen, uh, you know, we know these long trips uh, wear and tear on you, and, and, and we see it. So if you need to come home more, uh, we'll bring you home more. Um, you know, so, I mean, if you're honest with the company, awesome. yeah, definitely. If you're honest with the company and, and, you know, you don't bullshit around I, I think, uh, you know, if you're a valued asset, I think, you know, it'll work in, in favor for both parties. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I absolutely agree, man. You sound like you got a good company there because uh, that's just the, the, the new cutting edge thing, right? Everybody's dealing with mental strife nowadays. Jay, you said it. Pay is the biggest one. That's oh, the yeah, definitely. biggest one people are stressing out about. And travel is the number two. So, man, you have a job where both of those things affect you. So yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The two worst factors that could pile up you're dealing with. And so I just tell people, like, instead of saying, oh, I don't feel good, you know, don't. If you just need to stay home because you need to get your mind right, tell your boss, I need to take a mental health day. It's a very real thing, and it's actually yeah. being recognized by large employers nowadays. And it's a good thing. People need it. You need it, mm -hmm. right? You got to play hooky yeah. every once in a while to restart your batteries. Yeah. You know, hey, look, uh, I, I did do want to chime in. I heard, I don't know how true this is, but I've heard over time that Europe, over in Europe, they actually have, like, naps or, like, certain countries. Yes, does. Yeah, you, they'll have, like, naps in the middle of your shifts to re-energize you. And they, That's Japan. Yeah, Japan is a big advocate for... Yeah. for um, and I heard it's, it the works, the right? More rest. It, you know, unfortunately, guys, I hate to say it, we do live in the greatest country yeah. in the world. But it's go, are, go, go here, man. <laughs> In our, we are behind in our labor uh, benefits. Um, yeah. You know, just going from maternity leave to state-sponsored mm -hmm. health care to <laughs> all these things that we don't have. Yeah, Europe kills us in those departments. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, go ahead, Dave. So, all right, here's some funny excuses. This is Career Builder, okay? This is a real study, and I was wrong on my numbers. I said earlier, it's actually 33% of the times people call off an employer will investigate. Huh. And of that, 22% say they will absolutely fire an employee. It's pretty so high. It's a third, yeah, a, a good solid third. So top excuses given in 2015 from Career Builder. Employee said he broke his arm reaching to grab a falling sandwich. That is a verified <laughs> real excuse as to why this oh, is wow. fall off of work. Did my brother call in that excuse? <laughs> <laughs> Another valid excuse, or, or sorry, verified excuse. Employees said they were stuck under the bed. My I God. You get stuck under the How'd bed. How'd you get your phone? How work, weak are you not to be able to fucking get out of underneath the bed? <laughs> Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> How did you That's get under there to begin like, with? Well, I just decided to take a nap under the bed. I fucked a nap. Yeah, you're there. under the bed. No, he was on top of the bed, lazy as shit, playing Xbox. <laughs> and just wanted to call off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Another excuse. Employee said the universe was telling him to take a day off. <laughs> that's something I would say. <laughs> the universe told him. The universe. That's a mental yeah. health thing. Yeah, that's a yeah. mental universe health said, thing. I was thinking I the same thing, in. dude. Employee said his wife found out he was cheating, so he had Damn. to spend the day retrieving his belongings from the dumpster. Mm. I believe that. that. I believe yeah. that. Yeah. You know what, though? I've, I've uh, Listen, my going back to my brother. <laughs> going back to my I brother. Got, I got him, I, no, listen, I got him a job in the union um, uh, a while back, and... and Everyone asks me, yo, get me in this place, da, da, da. And I'm like, I'm always, my reputation is on the line, so I'm very hesitant. I'm like, eh. Finally, I just gave it to my brother. I said, you know what? I'll get you a job here. Fuck it. You know? Um, so I get him this job. In two weeks, the kid quits. Because <laughs> because his, his um, well, his baby mom is a slut. So, I mean. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, just easily put. Easily put. But listen, though. Fucking I mean, she, she he wanted to, like. <laughs> Catch her cheating or whatever. So I, I kind of, you know, I kind of agree with the whole, you know, you know, sure. the, whole, the whole trying to catch his wife or whatever was going on there. But 
Because I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> you never he told was them? there. Huh? You never told your... Uh, My brother? No, he was... No, he was trying to catch her up so oh, I guess. yeah so he he like pretty much lost the job because he kept like making excuses kind of got a little carried so she was a sneaky slut she she was sneaky that's another story on the another show another show <laughs> <laughs> we can go at that one all day if you want <laughs> jesus oh so man it gets wilder oh boy all right go, go ahead, go ahead. An employee claimed his grandmother poisoned him with ham <laughs> Damn. Was he Muslim? <laughs> oh, my God. oh man! Uh, there was a there was a verified another excuse. Employee said she poked herself in the eye while combing her hair. What? Nice. Speak. I, I can see that. Was work. she blonde? <laughs> Uh, employee said his wife put all of his underwear in the washer, therefore he could not go to work without underwear. <laughs> That's so he silly. didn't want to go commando. Nope. No. Some people aren't comfortable. Nope. Employee said they chugged a bottle of mouthwash thinking it was Powerade and got very <laughs> sick as a result. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that what sounds the, like something what like what Skyler would do is or that something. Color? Or Emily. Well, that would taste so different. Who's putting mouthwash in fucking Powerade bottles? <laughs> Obviously, people who are putting vinegar in water bottles. I'm just saying. Yeah. Same people. No, that dude was either drunk and thought it was Powerade. Or just retarded. Or he just lying. Yeah, I can't even wrap my mind around yeah. that. I don't know how you just pick up a thing of uh, right. mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash to get drunk. and chug it. The like, containers don't even look the same. It doesn't even taste. I can't even, like, just doing a Once mouthful I get of that shit. That, just like, yeah, uh, when, I, if, if, when I'm rinsing my mouth out with mouthwash, as soon as I get a little down my throat, I'm like, uh, no. I, I've known people that drink mouthwash Ugh. to get drunk. God damn. So, yeah, sure, it's terrible. That, so that, that's at the bottom of the barrel. You are right. hanging around a bad crowd. You are just, drink some you damn just damn you're night. desperate. I said I know somebody. God damn oh. it. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Yeah, that's wild. So, I don't know. <laughs> The, the, no. the final one I have here it's is employees said that their parakeet had the bird flu and needed to be taken care Aww. of, but they could not go to work. <laughs> Aww, Wait, so is. the parakeet got the bird flu? Yeah, <laughs> and he had to get taken care of. Why yep, you gotta use you got your it. pets? Oh my god! Don't be lying about your pets because then that pet probably died. <laughs> oh, perfect. <sighs> Carl, so what, so what is the bird wildest flu? What's the wildest you guys have ever called off for or known somebody to call off for? All right, so listen go, to this. Yeah. Here you go, Jay. I had to call off the next day because I held my breath <laughs> yep. to get rid of the hiccups and busted my <laughs> face open. Because I passed out. Because <laughs> I passed out. <laughs> you, that was legit. That's it's actually legit. a legit story, this though. But I, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Because <laughs> it's legit. It's a, it's I don't know gross. if you've seen the show last week with all my stitches in my face, but yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a good <laughs> time. Yep. Yeah, so and yeah, I actually... Yeah. Um, Playing Xbox. Epic, I know yeah. you gotta have something. Yeah, you gotta have something, man. Oh, man. He's like, maybe. Um, What's your I'm craziest usually, story, man? I'm you usually, gotta have something. He's good with work. He doesn't, Yeah, you know, I'm usually pretty good with work. I don't try to call off unless, like, it's I necessary. Just, yeah. yeah. The only reason I called off, though, is because... <laughs> you I passed out. No, 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 because, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm usually, like... I was ready to go into work, but my company, they were like, no, dude, because I, I spent all night at the hospital. So I got out at like 2, 3 a.m. and had to be up at 7. So that was the main reason. They yeah. were just like Shit. feeling like, you know, you're, you know, get some rest that, you know, blase, blase. Yeah. But I mean, usually like when I call off, it's legit. I'm like, sick. I'm sick. Yeah, I yeah. got hurt yeah. on the job. Um, that's it. <laughs> he split his scrotum sack one time. I did that. Wide, <laughs> wide open. He dropped the nut. Yeah. He did. His nut was hanging. He still went to work. <laughs> He's such a good guy. He's yeah. such a Great such a good team player. He just back in. Just shoved he, it back in. Yeah, he just took that in shit in. He took that shit in. Put a band aid on it, and he was ready to day. go. Yeah. <laughs> took Neil some ibuprofen. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, anyone else have a weird? The only thing I know is uh, I don't know how many times my grandma has died. <laughs> oh my God. But she died a long time ago, so it ain't like I lied when I said, hey, I mean, my, she was. my I grandma mean, I did died. that too. Yeah. That's past tense. That yeah. I did that too. I was talking about one of my grandpas, and I just, there was like someone at work who I just could not fucking deal with. Do you remember that? Well, and I said, my grandpa died, and they felt so bad for me, sending me messages, you know like what? sympathizing. And I thought of something. Yeah. What? So. 
the fuck did you think of? What are you over <laughs> this there? This is bad. Okay, oh, so... God. It wasn't me calling off, but I was moving from North Carolina to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. They were taking forever on my transfer because I was working at Sam's Club at the time in North Carolina, and I was going to be transferred to a Cleveland one. So I told him my dad had terminal cancer. Oh, my God. <laughs> and oh, then I had man. to go. You're lucky yeah. that, that fucking karma didn't hey, get don't, you Hey, yeah, don't tell me your dad ended up with terminal no. cancer. No. Thankfully. Oh, that would fucking suck. No. Um, I do have some comments. Uh, <laughs> Joe Mo said a buddy of mine once called in drunk from a bar. The supervisor said at least he was honest. Uh, and then Tokar said, Joe was his name, Tokar. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe Mo said, everyone knows Tokar works better drunk, so clock in. <laughs> and also Tokar said, Grandma went ham. <laughs> <laughs> and is Jay Polish? Uh, yeah, I'm Polish and Italian. He's Polish and Italian. Italian. Oh, How'd you know who said that? Tokar. Wanted Tokar? to say is Tokar. Yeah, I'm Polish. I don't have anything other than that. Like, oh, I'm man. pretty honest, too. Sometimes I just didn't feel like going in, but, like, whatever. Yeah. But, but, I've heard some yeah. I've heard some doozies throughout uh, the time I've worked in staffing and people calling me working out on job sites. I had a guy about a year ago call me out on a construction site and say yeah. that he sneezed and shit his pants that he needed to, <laughs> need to immediately leave. That, I have to that go. happens. I've done it. What, shit in the pants? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I sneezed like, and lick, shit like, myself. Like, like, Damn, I sharded myself. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No, I'll tell, I'll tell you a good story. So, it was my... No, soldier. You take your um, you take your boxers off Listen and to you this. fucking free ball at the rest of the <laughs> day. I'm, I'm in the fucking car heading to work. <laughs> Dion's drive me to work, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and I fall it, but I shard it, and she's like, "What are you doing?" So I'm reaching around in the glove box. I grab a handful of paper towels, oh my wipe God. my ass, oh my <laughs> roll down the fucking window, and throw it out. It hits the car behind us. Oh. She's like, "What? The, you are so sick. What's wrong with you?" I was like, "I gotta get to work." <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, so listen. I Why do, is everyone shitting their I, pants? I, listen, on? though. I do, I, listen, trust me. I work in construction fields, and I'm on construction sites all the time. Listen, if you got a shit, there's no bathroom. You take a bag and a bucket, and bam. Oh <laughs> get it done. If you got oh towels God. and paper towels, you... Tire, tie the shit up, throw it in the dumpster. Hey, my buddy, when he goes hunting, he always comes back without sleeves on his fucking shirt. <laughs> I always, and finally, I asked him, I was like, dude, what's, what's, going, on? what's going on? He's like, I ran out of toilet, toilet paper, paper, so I had to use my sleeve. Listen, I got to tell you a story real quick. Oh, <laughs> Since we're talking about this shit, because we're talking about wiping the ass and, you know, doing it properly, right? Oh, yeah. So listen, when I was a kid, I was with one of my oh, friends, man. okay? And like he, we're at this church thing over off um, uh, State Road and um, someplace. Sta- yeah, State Road and Pearl, that big <laughs> church school. And we're like playing over there. I'm not gonna name names, but look, man, <laughs> this kid was like, you know, my friend's like, I got a shit bad, right? So we're like, I'm like, okay. Oh, shit. He goes behind these bushes, right? And he's taking a shit, and he says, he says, Jay, I need you to get me some leaves. So I, I go and <laughs> gather up all these leaves, and I'm thinking the kid wants the leaves to wipe his ass, like back in the day, you know, like back right. in the caveman days. And them. I bring him these leaves, and the kid just sprinkles them on top of the <laughs> <laughs> and pulls his pants up. He just did it to hide it. Like someone's yeah, he just wanted shit. yeah, like someone's gonna find your shit it's behind like, bushes. Oh the fucking God. groundskeeper. He just he just oh wanted to, he just wanted to hide the shit. Didn't wipe his ass or nothing. Just pulled his pants off. That's gross. Yeah, so I was just, I I feel that's funny as shit. I have comments. I mean, yeah, literally funny as shit. Funny as shit, literally. Yeah, yeah. because he's he's Comments. Comments. I do have comments. Comments. (laughs) Uh, Corey says, I had an employee say she couldn't come in because her parents were arguing, so she drove to her grandmother's house. Wow, that's nice. That's that's Um, some, like, millennial shit. Tokar (laughs) said, I shit my pants at a pizza shop before, (laughs) (laughs) haha. And Dion said, true love. Yeah. True love True over there. That's what right right there. you said. If I didn't love you, I'd fucking break up with you right now, you sick <laughs> son of a bitch. I bet the list of places Tokar hasn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Poopy Pants. <laughs> far shorter than the one where he did. 
Oh, oh my goodness. That's so funny. Goodness I think gracious. he even shit himself on the air a couple times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, sometimes you just shit yourself. Sometimes you just, you just gotta go. talking about shit in their pants. It brightens everybody's day, right? It yeah. does. Very much. Right. You love right. it on your birthday. Like, like on your birthday. I know, happy birthday to me. This He's great. gonna shit his pants, pants today. Pants. Yeah. yeah. He gets to it. It's, like it's like a free pass, though. Wear a diaper. I'm not cleaning it up, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm that, not a nurse. That's love, though. You gotta clean I'm it up. I'm not cleaning it up. That's not love. I won't let him do it, and I won't shame him on his birthday. Yeah. I'm not cleaning it up, though. You can clean it up, Jay. You're his best friend. You're his brother. So okay, I ain't cleaning well, this. Shit. Was that all you had for us? <laughs> we gotta move the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> David. Well, guys, that's all I okay. have. All what right. Questions for me. That was awesome. Nope, that's just a nope. bunch of any, shit. Jokes. Any questions for Thank Dave, Frank? I'm going to go back and finish watching the show. All right. All right, guys. Thank hey, you, man. And You're if awesome. you guys ever Bye. have questions for David, make sure you submit it to epic to the fourth at gmail.com with the subject, get the work. Thank you so much, David, again for um, sharing your experience with and us. Situations. Yes. <laughs> and situations. Yeah, situations. Yep. Thank you, right, Thank you. Thank man. you. All right. So. <clears throat> It's getting to the end. Are you ready? I'm uh, ready. Oh, here we go. Uh, here uh, we go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, dun, dun, dun. It's time for another great adventure. Is it of, legal? Is it legal? screen so i'm just like i'm gonna go you see the spoon with the fucking powder and shit <laughs> oh my god eating bacon soda <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> goodness i don't understand life i don't understand either you know how you oh, test that shit, shit out right you just dip your finger in there and rub it against your gums <laughs> just just real quick that's all. <laughs> real kid kids just here's a like, lesson do this <laughs> if you gotta quick. know you gotta know Here's some All lessons right. for you kids out there. You criminals. All right, are you guys ready? I am ready. Is it legal? All right, so six questions. Uh, you have to tell us whether it's legal or not. Um, and people at home, you can play along I too. I guess play. We'll see how Why are you smiling many at me we like can that? do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm the only one that knows the answers. Nobody else does. I do. Well, I Ashley, came up with them. Yeah. <laughs> I she knows so. the answer. You can't play then. I can't play, damn yeah. it. She's going to get 100%. So, first question, Ant Man. Okay. Is it legal in Alabama to put salt on railroad tracks? I'm going to say it's fucking illegal. And you would be correct. Yay! Oh, good job. All right. Probably so. would eat the fucking rust and Oops. fuck them tracks up. I think it has something to do with the. I, I don't know. Like stuff <laughs> I don't know. See, I was thinking, like, does it have to do with, like, st the have, salt breaking stuff Have you ever out tried hopping a train? No. No, I haven't. Oh, I man, they come, they come out with these fucking salt pellet guns. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those. No, my, my friends actually have told me about that because um, where I used to grow up, they used to try to hop trains. Um, mm -hmm. And they actually, yeah, they, they get off of the trains and they'll start shooting you. That's how with, we, yeah. That's how we used to get to sunrise. We'd hop down on Brookside, hop a train and head yeah, on Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, we, uh, down on Baltic. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, like, yeah, they would hop trains and they said them motherfuckers would hop off because the trains don't go fast down those <laughs> tracks. No. So you can hop on it. But yeah, they'll hop right off and start pelleting you up yep. and shit. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Um. So, second question. Oh my goodness. Is it legal to shoot bears in Alaska? Is it legal? Yep. Yes. Is it legal? I. <sighs> How many bears are in Alaska? Let's get in depth. <laughs> yeah. What type of bears they have? You know, there? it's just fucking bears. They have all kinds of bears. So, is it legal in Alaska? If there's Last too many, last time I watched them, Alaskan say. state troopers, um, I'm gonna say it's legal. Legal. Yeah. And you would be correct. Yes, Yay! I was thinking that too. Yeah. It's probably like shit tons of Two for bears. two. Yeah, good job. Doing like, better than last this. week. You're, you have, you to, have alcohol it has in to your be system legal, now. man, because you're living in Alaska. What happens shit if happens. Mother, what happens if shit that? Happens. Yeah, shit happens all over the place. Yeah, just all over Let's the hope place. Not literal shit. <laughs> what happens if? What happens if a bear comes upon you? You shit your pants, and then you shoot right. it, and then you have to shoot it. <laughs> Is it legal <laughs> in North Dakota to serve beer and pretzels together? 
Is it legal? It better be legal. That's a crime if not. <laughs> I have a feeling it's it's illegal because some some shit's going on up there. <laughs> yeah, something. And Dakota. you would be correct. Oh my yeah. gosh! Why? Yeah. It is illegal. Why to the serve fuck beer can't you eat together. pretzels with beer in North Dakota? Well, apparently, they don't like that. Remind shit. me never to go to North Dakota. They don't like that shit. I think Dan D is fighting with fucking Budweiser. <laughs> I'll never. I'll never go to North Dakota. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's so Canadian, dude. No, and it's Minnesota though. Is it? Is it North Dakota? Yeah, but not Canada? North Dakota. <laughs> I know, but I, what the fuck? They still talk like that. Something like Canadian. Do the do the no, they, do the voice. No, I'm not doing the voice. Do the voice. Do the, do no, the Dakota. Go to the next question. Can you do? No, we're not going to the next one until you do the voice. I mean, we're gonna be do sitting here while. Well. Why can't you do the voice? Because we do I did voices. it last week. I want you to do I'm the not voice. Doing it now. Please, I beg do you. Do it. No. Please, Don't everyone know. begs you. No. Fucking just go. How can she not do oh, the yeah. voice? I, what voice I did it last do? week or the week before. What was it? What voice? The Minnesota voice? The Minnesota, yeah. don't you know? There, there you go. go. Yes. Hell Shut yes. the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it legal for a man to beat his wife once a month in Arkansas? Oh, that, no way. Oh, man. I'm going to say, I, you know what? It's called the rule of thumb. If the stick is. Uh, uh, as round as your thumb, you can go ahead and fucking beat her. Yes, it's legal. No, that's stupid. No. Yes, you're oh correct. My God, you can only beat your wife time. once a month in Arkansas if you can't do it more than that. Though. I, I heard in Booger Hole there was talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Corey wants to know who goes to the that's Dakotas. That's a dumbass anyway. rule. You just man. interrupted me. Sorry, go ahead. Corey wants to know who goes to the Dakotas anyway. Yeah. This is true. So, yeah, we don't know what they sound like. They're like aliens and shit. If we ever go to Dakota, (laughs) we're we're seeing like fucking scraggly looking like fucking aliens. I wonder what the population there is. What, 10? Like five. 11.5. They got a midget. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) One or a baby. Or a baby. There's 11 adults, one baby. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, takes, and they all date their cousins. It takes a yeah. village to raise a child. Yeah, for real. Oh, Is God. it legal for a husband to be responsible for any criminal act his wife commits while she's around him in Utah? Speaking of Utah. Think about it's it. Wait, is it you know what? I'm going to say it is legal. Wait, is it legal for a husband to be a you be are responsible correct. for a, any criminal act his wife commits while she's around him. I think that's a Got Mor- right. Mormon law. <laughs> Probably. So what? He she can go murder her motherfuckers, and he could just be like, Yo. "Hey, you got to get control of your hoe." All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says, "Is it legal?" For no. Him? Yeah. yeah. So he would be responsible, responsible for yeah. any yeah. act, any criminal act she did when she was with him. I thought that would be. Is it illegal? For a husband. It's called, is, is it, it legal? legal? So why the fuck would we I say I know, but I'm illegal? saying, though, is it legal for he a husband to be... answer the question correctly. Jesus, fuck. Is it legal for a husband to be a... Res- be, oh, to be responsible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's got to get her in line. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> he's got to right. get her in I, line. I was just thinking, like, uh, she was going around doing shit. I'll tell you what. If that law there in uh, our, Utah, is it? Utah. If he could yeah. just beat his wife once a month, that... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Be that one have, fucking time, bitch. But he would have to move to Arkansas to do that. Yeah, yeah so, so they're like going to have to they're going to have to yeah. combine them two laws. Maybe like. they're going to write up some legislation there. Yeah, yeah. Keep maybe. Those <laughs> bitches in line and right, talk. You see how fucked up Last our country is? They have like really certain good. laws in other countries or I mean other um states that you know, it's spitting so on the sidewalk here in Cleveland is still illegal. Yeah. It is. Really? Oh, I know. I know. Retarded. I know. That's weird. Trust me, I know. Because, uh... <laughs> he got a ticket for no, it. No, I never got a ticket <laughs> for it. But it's called uh, Immoral Justitude or something like that. Ju- or, okay. Whatever. Last question. Let's see if he gets is it right. Is it legal? I know this last one so far, you're five for five. Is it legal in Kentucky to marry the same man four times? How the fuck do you marry the same man four times? Is it legal, though? Just say, yeah, it's Kentucky, bro. No, no, no. It's Here in Ohio, it's fine, because I know a couple that got married four fucking times. <laughs> same people. It's Kentucky. They married their fucking cousins. <laughs> I'm going to say it's illegal. Man, and you would be correct. correct. Oh, my God. 100% correct. He definitely made up for that shit last, last week. Yeah, last week was... A <laughs> one, foot, one for 22. <laughs> <laughs> 22. 
I thought he got like one or two right last week. I only got one right. Yeah, one right, right. right. Out out five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. five, yeah. But uh, you get, you pass this week. You know what Yay. it is? I was feeling the Holy Spirit when I looked. <laughs> you know, it. it's not like he can fucking research this shit. I mean, he just could. It it's, it's, it's random. So That's it, the point. It, yeah, it's a random fucking yeah. like. He did good let me, this let, week. Let me think. It's it's like when you think you're like okay so I think this it, like logically this would be illegal but, but this point, country's fucking retarded with, so yeah well and the, it's gonna be with these legal. fucking questions common sense isn't commonly applied here. exactly no, yeah no not. shit yeah. and the thing is like it could go either way to be honest with you like I mean you literally do have a fifty fifty chance with it you know yeah so but that's it for the show everyone. Um, nobody called in to get them tickets. Nope. Fuck them. Damn, no one called in to get fucking tickets, man. Yeah, that's alright. Jesus, guys. What kind um, of fans we oh, got? Oh, hang on, guys. What? Got comments. Um, comments. Tokar said the pop and the pudding voice. Oh, my gosh. Do it. I did it earlier. Do it now. Put a pop in the pudding, bitch. <laughs> Not <bitch> pudding. <laughs> okay, no. Tommy has to do it. Alright, go ahead. What you do is you put the pudding with the pop with the pudding. <laughs> he sounds like fucking Chris Rock doing an impression of fucking <laughs> yeah. Bill, Cos- Bill Cosby. I know it's Bill, like- Bill Cosby. Pill Cosby. Yeah, Pill yeah. Cosby now. His name's not Bill. Pill Cosby. That's what they're <laughs> hey, Pill Cosby. Hey, them dudes in jail right now are like, hey, Pill Cosby, come here. I'm going to put the pudding pop in you, boy. <laughs> you know what's funny? Um... Uh, Bill Cosby was actually recently raped. raped? No, he was, <laughs> he was recently interviewed about his time in prison, <laughs> and he said it was an amazing experience. Oh yeah, dude, he's like working out. He's all healthy. It's, it's like he's sticking it to everyone. He's like, I, I don't I, give a shit. He's, he's still like, in jail. He's like, I fucking uh, love it here. He's probably not in real jail though. Like the motherfucker. I don't give rich. a fuck. He gets pudding pops on the daily. He's, he's gets, probably raping. Oh, he gets inmate. bean burritos, <laughs> pudding pops. Fucking hot dogs, <laughs> Italian sausages, <laughs> all kinds of shit. Polish boys, that boy getting all kinds of shit. You are every oh, day. Oh, fucking mess. <laughs> Fucking I heard uh, Jesse Smollett is going to be. He's dropping the soap on purpose. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for everyone. <laughs> yep. We're done. Make All right, guys. Thank you. Make sure you follow us Ow. on Twitter and Facebook at Epic Music Radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Epic Miss 2 and 6. And the website. Yeah, www. The Epic Radio Show dot com. Dot com, baby. Make yeah. sure that you uh, purchase a couple shirts. Do it, man. These shirts okay. are awesome. I don't know why you guys aren't buying them. Yeah. I'm going to buy them all out if you guys don't hurry the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, next week, uh, we're going to be live from Shadows Bar and Grill in Damn. Parma. Damn. Damn. It's going to be fun. Damn. Um, hope oh, to see you guys Damn. there. We did um, play the... Add for it. I'll put that up on the screen. It sucks. Now. I'll try to get a plane home and for a one day thing, but I don't know. Damn it! It's on Saturday. I know. Just so you know. Yep. So right. well, we'll uh, March sixteenth. It's called Road to Success Three. Um, there's a bunch of artists performing that day. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. It's ten dollars a mission. Where's this at? What street? Is this for St. Patty's Day too? It's well, St. Patty's Day. It's the day, day before, before day but before. yeah, you can get your uh, pregame on. Yes. So where's it at though? What's the address? It's six six nine nine West one hundred thirtieth Street. Uh, four four one three zero. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So is that what uh, is that Parma or is Parma? that? Uh, it is technically Parma, Parma even though okay, it gotcha. says Cleveland. Gotcha, it gotcha, is. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. The Parma Cleveland yes. region. Because <clears throat> you know it's right off of Brook Park. It's kind of like right there. Yeah. Weird spot. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next week. Yeah, buddy. Um, and as always, make life epic. Peace. Bye. Peace. See ya. Dear Mr. President. There are too many states nowadays. Please eliminate three. I am not a crackpot. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Hasta la vista, baby. Go! That's my only real motivation is not to be hassled. Not in fear of losing my job, but you know, Bob, I'll only make someone work just hard enough not to get fired. And and I'm sorry. We're out of time. Bye. You are the weakest thing. Goodbye. 
Please leave this office. Do we get any sort of souvenir? Get out of my office! Oh my god, I feel so good. Oh yeah, oh, oh, slow down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who's your daddy? That's all, folks.